Hey everyone. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the Board Game Informant. Uh, I'm Eric. I'm Johnny. I'm Morris. I'm, Morris is just, oh he can't even yeah yeah he's looking at us. <laughs> Morris is over I'm there. I'm over here. <laughs> so <laughs> we had a, a webcam set up and uh, we just don't have a computer capable of running three cameras at a time. So mm. um, we are running a Patreon that I will shamelessly plug um, so that way we can upgrade. So we'll be able to run cameras that show everybody around the table. So there's a link in the chat right now if you're interested in supporting us for any level that would be awesome. <laughs> Um, we've been streaming all day. Started at nine thirty this morning. We played a uh, food chain magnate followed by eighteen eighty nine. So those two streams are are up in our channel. If you're interested in those games, check them out after. Whew. And now we're on we're route. Route the river folk with with one faction from the river folk expansion. So uh, we're doing one of the recommended three player setups with the expansion. So we've got the uh, the otters, the cats, and the birds. And let's take a look at the board. And I'll teach the game. <clears throat> and let me actually... He's got notes and everything, people. Yeah. We got anybody in chat today? <laughs> All right, so... Do you have anybody? Um, Just curious if don't anyone's there. Think, I don't think so. I mean, it's going to get... I put it in the blank spot. Well, in between here, there's nothing. Well, but there will be, maybe. <clears throat> so... Uh, do we have anybody in chat? No, we have no viewers right now. So, right. well, if you're watching this after the fact, yeah, thanks. Hey, and hopefully we'll have some people join us. All right, let's get started. Root, the game of woodland might and right. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Um, so, uh, for those of you who don't know about Root, it was designed by Cole Worley and published by Leader Games, and this is an asymmetric uh, game of conflict and a force between different animal factions. So uh, it's got a lot of cute art, but the game's actually uh, a pretty, uh, I'd say it's a medium weight game, but it's there's a lot more than meets the eye with the uh, the, the fun art. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty brutal uh, game. It's so, mean. It's yeah, mean. it can be mean. Um, you know what, uh, Morris, while I'm doing this, can you grab all of the item? Morris, oh, Morris, Morris, Morris. Can you grab the items? They're out of the um, the larger box. I didn't put those out. Do we need them with these? We do, because you still can't craft if the items aren't available. Okay. So, all right. So, um, all these factions play very differently, and I'm going to go through each one of these. I'm not going to teach the factions that are not in tonight's game. So, um, there's actually a few streams out there that, that use all the base factions, so... Um, and there's an RTFM video that does the rules, uh, rules for all of them. So uh, I'm just going to be going over the ones in today's game. And there are, so everything plays differently, but everybody's got the same victory condition, which is to get to 30 points. And everybody scores points differently. So, um, But there are common rules between all of the factions. And um, those, those rules are, well, I'll actually talk about the common rules in a second, but... When each player activates, uh, they go through three phases, which are the bird song, daylight, and evening. And so, bird song is usually the faction specific actions. Uh, daylight and evening are the more common actions between all the factions, with a few twists for each faction that I'll go over. So, common actions are we'll start with move. So, it's pretty simple. Let's get a few guys out on the board. Oops, I set them up all nice. Yeah. Um, so, movement. Move moving from one clearing to another along a path. Um, now the otters can move along the river, but well, let's ignore that for a second. Um, the restriction with movement is that you must move from or to a clearing that you control. So, here I control this. I can move as many guys as I want to from there to there. So. Now, sorry, did you say from or to a clearing? You, oh, from a clearing from, you control. From a clearing you control or, or to, to a clearing. Got so it. one or the other. So let's say I just move one of those guys, right? Now let's say later on I wanted to move. Well, I don't control this. Uh, I don't control this. I could move back here because I control it here. But other than otherwise, I can't move out of this clearing. And if this were the case, I'm stuck there entirely. So that's movement. Um, We'll go over a little bit more when I go over the birds, but um, control is the number of tokens you, 
the, whoever has the most tokens in a clearing. Um, that's warriors, which are the wooden pieces, and uh, the uh, cardboard tokens stand for different things for different factions, so I'm just going to call them tokens for now. Um, but for the cats, those are buildings, and for the birds, those are roosts, and trade trading posts for the otters. So, um, control... Yep, so battle is the next thing that happens. So if two people are in the same clearing, you can initiate a battle. And the attacker will roll both dice. And you give the higher one. The attacker takes the higher one. So let's just say it was a three and a two. I get a three. The cats get a two. You can, t you can deal as much damage as the number of warriors that you have in the clearing. So in this case, I have three, but I only have one warrior. So I do one one damage, and it happens simultaneously. So the cats deal two damage. Unfortunately, I only have one guy, so we each end up doing one damage. So you can do damage up to this number? Yes. Limited by your pieces. Limited by your number of okay. pieces, yep. So yeah, if I, had, if I had three pieces, I could do two because he doesn't have a third one. Um, but they would still kick two of them out, and you'd, you'd be left with one. Right. Right, it would be this and this, and you'd be there. Okay. Exactly. So the other, the only exception to exceeding this is um, if there's a defenseless bonus. So let's put some buildings out here because for this example. So after all of the warriors are killed, so when you when you do damage, you always do it to the warriors first and then tokens. So in this example now, um, I can do up to three hits, so two, and then the cats would choose one or the other. Um, hmm? Those to are get rid of building. the cats are there. Oh, oh yep. I see. So, so that would be your three hits. Yeah, and you would still do your two hits, and that would be that combat. You get one point for every token you remove in combat. Uh, you do not get points for removing warriors. So that would also be a point for the otters. Now, if I were to do another combat action, that thing's defenseless. Let's, right? let's see another one. There's a defenseless bonus if there's no warriors. So here, even though I only have, I know there's two buildings here now, even though I only have one guy, if I roll a two, I can still do, actually, I roll a one, right? That's normally the most I can do, but I get a plus one automatically regardless of the die roll. Um, so I would actually get rid of both of them in this case. If I rolled a zero, I would still get rid of one automatically. You get a so, plus one because they're undefended. Yes. So defenseless is if there are no warriors present in a space where combat where you initiate combat with that faction, you automatically score a hit after you roll the dice. So and that applies to every faction. If you ever don't have warriors and you're attacked, you're defenseless and you get an extra hit scored against you. You also can't score any hits because you don't have any warriors present. So. That's combat. That's battle. Um, and then we have these cards. So um, cards are used for uh, a few different things. So there are four suits of cards. There's rabbits, foxes, mice, and birds. So the rabbits, fox, and rabbit, fox, and mouse match the clearing types. So, uh, and then birds, because they can fly. Are... Clearing types because of this mouse, yeah. that rabbit, that fox. Right. Okay. So you can, yeah, you can see the sim there's a symbol next to each clearing. That's the type of clearing it is. And they match those three suits. There's no bird clearing. Those are wild because birds can fly. So there's no clearing type for birds. There's a few things that you can do with cards. So there are, um, there are some effects that you can do that are faction specific. There's also crafting, so every faction can use cards to craft items or effects. So, for example, in this case, we've got a mouse card that has... So, the suit is up here um, along the top left. Uh, on these signposts are the crafting costs, and they don't necessarily match the suit type. So, in this case, it does match. The crafting cost is, is two rabbits. But in this case, the crafting cost is one rabbit, even though the suit is a mouse. So different factions will craft differently, and I'll explain how the different factions craft. But um, cats use workshops, birds use roosts, the otters use trading posts, and you craft 
using them in that clear in the clearing matching the crafting cost in the card. So for example, if I had this bird card here, I would need to have a trading post in a mouse clearing. Which, okay. You've got an otter so, here, right? Yeah, so for an otter it would be this. If I have a trading post in a mouse clearing, I can discard I can use this card, I can play it, um, and that trading post is used up and I've crafted this card. What about for like me? So for you, yours are workshops, which are these guys, right? Yeah, workshops. So for the cat, it's workshops. So for example, if the cat had a workshop here and a workshop over there, the cat could craft this card using one, two workshops in rabbit clearings. Okay, so you just look around the board and you add them all up and you say, I can craft yeah. this card because I, I meet these requirements. And you can only use each one once. Unfortunately, they're not double-sided, or, or they, they are double-sided, so you can't flip them over to show that you've used them. You could, like, <laughs> move it a slightly below or something. Um, yeah, so um, it's usually you're not crafting so much that it's hard to remember. Um, yeah. So it's pretty easy to remember. Um, and then birds craft with roost, so if you want to put a roost up on the board just to show everybody what it looks like. So that, that blue token is hey. a roost. So... Morris could craft this card right here because he has one roost in a rabbit clearing. Um, so the different types of crafting, there's items. So when you craft an item, you physically get the item from up here. If the item is not available up there, you cannot craft it. Um, you get the number of points next to it, and then you discard the card. So those are items. Then there's two types of effect cards. Here we go. There's yellow and gray. So gray cards are persistent effects. So you craft it, you put it in your play area, and for until it tells you to discard it or until the end of the game, you're going to have this effect uh, that you can do. Yellow happens immediately. So as soon as you craft it, you do what the card says and you discard it like you would with a an item card. But you don't get any item. You do not get an item. You get, yeah. so for example, this one is remove all enemy pieces in fox clearings and right. discard. Some immediate effect. Yeah. Um, Where's the sweet? other cards. What was that? Where's that sweet item? Where's this thing? Oh, oh more. I crafted it. You okay. took it? You crafted it. You like it back. Give it back. You don't get that. So there's two other types <laughs> of cards in the deck. It's I'm just boost. looking for them real quick. So there are ambush cards and dominance cards. So ambush cards are reactive cards that you actually play from your hand. So an ambush card, um, at the start of the battle as a defender, you can play this card to deal two damage immediately to the attacker uh, before combat starts. It has to match the clearing that you're in. So in the case of Vert, it's wild, but there's a, an ambush card for each suit. So for example, that ambush card could only be played if you're attacked in a rabbit clearing. <laughs> I love the art. Yeah. So um, only a defender can play an ambush card, except when you have an ambush card played against you as the attacker. If you have an ambush card, you can cancel that ambush. And then the final card is a dominance card. A dominance card kind of shakes up the victory condition. So if you have at least 10 victory points and you have a dominance card, you can play it. You would remove your token from the board, place it on the dominance card, and that would be your new victory condition. Uh, if we actually <clears throat> play dominance cards, we'll explain which one is being played and what the victory condition is. But just know that once you play it and you take your point tracker off and put it on the dominance card, you can no longer win through the normal 30 point victory win condition. You're locked into that. And you can't actually win on the turn that you play the dominance card because the you have to meet the condition at the start of your bird song and you can only play dominance cards in daylight. So you have to be able to, you have to be pretty confident that you can hold the victory condition until the beginning of your next turn. Can you play a second dominance card to pull it off of that first card? No. So it's basically you're switching and now you're on that forever. Yep. Right. Um, so if you don't want to play a dominance card, you could discard it and then it's available, it's available for anybody else to take. Um, in order to take the dominance card, you 
you discard a matching card. So if uh, if Eric had discarded the um, mouse dominance card, I could discard a mouse card from my hand and pick that one up. So you're saying I, you can discard, you can either play it or discard it. What about just keeping it in your hand? Um, you could you could keep it in your hand, but you may want to discard it for some other so effect. If you ever discard yeah. it, it doesn't go into the discard pile. Yeah. It becomes undiscarded. So if you have a yeah, if you have an ability that you need to discard mouse cards, you can use that as one of your discarded mouse cards. But now it's it doesn't go in the discard pile. It goes in a pile for anybody yep. to take. Got it. So um, those are all the types of cards. So now let me get into the faction. Um, specific abilities um before we do that let's actually run through setup so we can show everybody how the game is set up and then we can uh then we can move on to talking about the faction abilities <laughs> so setup in this game is done in order if you if you flip over to the back side of your faction board which you've already done uh you have a setup letter and you set up in that order every time uh, so that's fine so cats always set up first great so the <laughs> I have a question. I'm sure. the least experienced. When do we get dealt our hand of cards? Is that after or before setup? Um, because the leader I pick sort of is relevant to what cards I have in my hand. It's a good question. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's see. I can look too if you want to get the cats going. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, yeah, because it's probably it's, it doesn't affect the cat setup. No. So yeah, um, all right. So Morris is going to look that that up. So the first thing you do as the cats is you place your keep token in any corner of the map. Um, considerations for me: Why would I want to choose one corner of the map? Just real quick. Oh, so I, actually, in that case, because this is card, his cards, right? his cards could actually impact what he does, right? Maybe, yeah. So, so let's, let's find that out. So, so uh, I guess potentially depending on what cards you have, you might... So choose factions, set scores, deal cards. Okay. And then cards to each player. Choose factions and what? Place you ruins, set scores. So put, put the score token on zero. Oh, okay. Item supply, gather other pieces, set up factions. So, so we, we get our hands first. before okay. we set up. So your hand of cards may affect your... Yep. For sure. Um, so yeah, so he... Um, but other words, so, so, so let me explain what this... Yeah. Is. So your keep is the thing that you really have to protect because one of the, the big abilities that the cat has is the field hospital, which I'll go over a little bit more later, but what that does is prevents your guys from dying. Um, instead, that you can teleport them back to the keep. Mm -hmm. if, if you, There's a condition you have to meet with discarding a card, but um, if your keep ever goes away, you cannot rebuild it, and you would lose that ability. What's up? I have another question. Okay. Are we playing with the updated rules? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah, so... They've updated the rules for balance, and we will be playing with the updated rules. I'm not going to point out what they are, but we'll, we're going to be... They were, they were minor balance tweaks to the game. Um, one of the big offending classes isn't in this game, right? So yeah, well, there was actually one that, one bought, that boosted the, the cat's up power up. I don't think there's anything for the birds. Uh, there was nothing for the birds. I actually have the third printing of this, so I don't, know if there, I don't think there's anything for the otters, but if it is, it's printed on the board. I don't think so either. Um, so yeah, so your keep is, is the thing that Field you need to defend keep, at all costs. Okay. Um, so you want to make sure that when you place it, it's a defensible position and it's always going to be a corner. Corners are defensible. But, um, and I suppose one, with two, the three, that's got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, I suppose three. with the otters in the game, you Four. probably don't want to pick that one yeah. because that's got a river. It's got a river. Um, okay. So it's three cards for each person, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so first thing you're going to do as the cats is you're going to place a keep token in one of the corners, and then you are going to place a cat in every other clearing other than the opposite corner. Every other clearing on the whole board except for like in yes. place. Okay, so let's say I do this one. Let's put it there. Um, oh, actually, this does matter, doesn't it? Um, where's the... Let's do... Uh, of course. Um, I'm going to go into the far corner with my keep. Um, and then I put a, what'd you say? Uh, a, 
Which one? So, okay. it's, actually, it's actually here. So, place your keep token, place one warrior in each clearing except the corner clearing diagonally opposite. So, including everything, the one, including the everything one but the one you yes. just Yes. The only one that I use. I'll get all these first. All right. Good. Like, because now we're yeah. you know, kind of into strategy, and I don't really remember how all that yeah, stuff and, works. Um, yeah, and it's for the best. That's okay. I don't we, really I think care. we've each played it a handful of times. I played but it I wouldn't once. say yeah, you've played it once. Uh, I've played it three, three or four times, and you've played it five or six four times. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with just rolling with the punches too. So uh, I'm by no means a, an expert strategist, and I've never played with the otters in a game. Okay, so um, so that's the second thing you do. Then you're going to place one sawmill, one workshop, and one recruiter among the clear. Um, the clearing with the keep token and any adjacent ones. So any of those four tokens. Oh, so I get to choose where these go, mm -hmm. and these do what? <laughs> um, we have, I don't know what these do. Okay, so. so so I guess this is probably a good time to talk about the cat's abilities. So why don't you flip your board over? Is this the last step? Yeah, because that's that's really the last thing. Okay. And then we'll talk about the cats. And then it just says, flip your board and fill your building's tracks with sawmills, workshops, recruiters, mm -hmm. except for the leftmost yeah, space. Because those are the three that you're placing. Yes. So, um, All right. So the cats, uh, basically the story is that the cats have kind of taken over the forest. The birds originally ruled the forest and the cats came in and they're, they've are they kind of kicked the birds out and they're kind of tearing down the forest to build their machines of war. So uh, the cats are the bad guys in this game. Cool. Which makes sense, because cats are jerks, even though I love cats. So, <laughs> um, it's undeniable, really. So the cats are basically chopping down trees to make wood in order to build buildings. Your primary source of victory points is building buildings. So at the beginning of Birdsong... Any of these are buildings? Yep. And so I'm going to explain what each of the yep. buildings does. But at the beginning of the game... or Sorry, at the beginning of the Birdsong phase... In each of your turns, you're going to place one wood in each sawmill. So that's what this building is right there. So yeah. saw blade, it's a sawmill. So um, that generates the wood that you then use to build buildings. Um, then in daylight, you can craft with your workshops. So that's that's not building buildings. That's the cards that we talked about crafting. Yep. So you you activate the workshops in various clearings to meet the crafting requirements on cards. Yep. Um, after that, you can take up to three actions plus one additional action per bird card that you discard. So um, the actions that you can take are battle, which is common the same way that anybody else battles. Then there's march, which is a little bit different because it's two move actions in one action. Um, and you can split that up. You can take, uh, you know, if you have more than one guy in a clearing, you could move some one way, some another way. That would be a march action. You can move one here, pick up another guy and continue moving. Any combination of two moves, but each move you can take any number of guys mm -hmm. from that location. Okay. Um, and you have to complete both moves before you do another action. You can't do a march and like move here, battle, and then move again. Yeah. Um, then recruiting, so that's the one right here, is uh, add a warrior to the board at each location that you have a recruiter. And then building is taking the wood that you've created with your sawmill and moving it to a clearing that um, that you rule to build a building. So all you're gonna do when you wanna build is you're gonna take wood, you're gonna make sure that you can trace an unbroken line of clearings that you control to wherever you wanna build. And then if, if you can get the wood there, then you build your your um, building. So one any of these three buildings. Yeah. And when you do that, you're going to uncover the space and whatever the victory points listed underneath is what yeah. you get as your points. And or cards. And yes, at the end of your turn when you draw up these symbols, always, and that's this is for every faction, if you ever see one of these symbols under uh, uncovered, you draw an additional card when you draw. Yeah. So the last thing that you can do is overwork. So you can spend a card in a clearing with a sawmill. Has to match the, has to match the clearing where the sawmill is, and then you can produce an additional wood at that sawmill. Okay, so I probably want to have like my recruiter maybe by my castle so I can pump out guys in my castle. Yes, no, maybe. Um, maybe. maybe. I actually think you want your recruiter a you little bit further out here. so that I can um, branch out. Yeah. And because whenever your guys, guys die, they go to the keep. Back there, so you're yeah. going to end up with a lot of guys there All at right. some point. Sure. So let's put the recruiter here. That sounds fine. Uh, the sawmill and the um, 
What is this thing called? Workshop. Workshop? Workshop. Sawmill produces wood. That guy gets me guys. Workshop does what one more time? Is how you craft cards. I craft cards with my workshops. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, sure. I am going to go into this fairly blind, but I think I probably am going to put this um, back over here, I guess. And then workshop. I know. So I just realized can you put your cards over there? Because when we get to the otters, I'll clean it, but the otter's hand of cards is actually always face up, so I'm going to actually display that here. Okay, I don't have any more room up here to display. That's okay. I don't, you don't secret, need to display your cards. Secret. Yeah, that's secret anyways. So, um, the otters are the yeah. only ones that have them face All right, up. I did that. I'll cover up my, my bits yep. here. And then, just to finish up, so yeah, you're going to cover up all those. And just to finish up explaining how the cats work, the last thing that you do is the evening phase, and that's just draw one card plus one card for uncovered card symbols. Okay. So, the next to set up... Oh, uh, sorry. The other special rule for the cats is, so I talked about the field hospitals. Whenever a, a cat is killed in battle, any number of cats are killed in battle, you can discard one card matching the clearing where the battle is taking place, and all of the cats that would have been killed instead go to your keep. So that's the field hospital. And then the second special ability is the keep. So the clearing with the keep, um, no other faction can place anything there. They can move into there, but they can't place anything there. Yeah, tokens or people. Anything. You yeah. are the only one that can place anything where your keep is. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so moving on to the birds there, the second faction to set up. Their setup is fairly straightforward. They place a roost in the opposite corner, so Eric made it as hard as possible for us to reach each other's... And well, it was a reason. <laughs> I know. Um, and then seven birds, seven warriors. Should we switch sides? And it's six. No. We can switch sides. That's fine. Yeah. We're both going to be expanding. Yeah, we can we can move each other's okay. things. It's, yeah, and he's eventually going to be everywhere. So, yeah, the cats kind of start everywhere, and you kind of have to like def defend your area. And the okay. birds move out relatively quickly as they build up their decree. As I'll explain. Is there any other setup besides flipping over and it's just picking? And yeah, so so flip your <clears throat> so flip yours over. Um, so after the birds place all of their warriors, they're going to fill in all their roosts, and the next thing they do is they're going to pick a leader. There are four choices for their leader, and what the leader does is determine how your decree starts. So you have two loyal viziers. So I pick the charismatic leader, so I get battle and recruit. Yep. And I'll explain how the decree works, but for now just know that that's what determined where those start. And then there's also an ability on the charismatic leader, right? Um, so when I place two, uh, I place two warriors not one each time I recruit. So I get more okay. warriors out on the board quicker. Yep. And that can that's kind of a double-edged sword as, as we'll talk about this because his decree, every turn he has to execute every part of his decree. And if he ever can't, he will go into turmoil. And I'll explain that. But let me explain how the decree works first. So at the beginning of... Do you want to Vanna White this? Yeah. Like point to your decree yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so the decree is, is the cards at the top that he's tucking. Yes. And that's going to grow every turn. So in Birdsong, the first thing that you do is if you have no cards... You draw a card. If you have cards, you play one or two. You have to play at least one, but you can play up to two cards in your decree. Only one of those cards can be a bird card. Um, and in the decree, birds are wild. So the way the decree works, um, so yeah, actually the- So you would just slide them in underneath the existing cards yeah, or in so a new slot. I'm adding, I, yeah. I yeah, don't show me, what it is, but yeah. You're gonna um, give me one. I sure, can, yeah, and I can reshuffle them back in. Because I think it's relevant for like, yeah, yeah it's it's work. a couple of them. So like, I could do two, and neither of these are um, neither of these are bird cards. Bird cards. But if you, if you had a bird card, one of those two cards could be bird cards. But right. if you had two bird cards, not both of them. Right. So, um, and I emphasize that because uh, it's. I think we played that wrong in our first game. Oh um, really? Or not our first game. In, in our the last game we played with Mike, I think he he ended up with a ton of bird cards in his decree, and I'm pretty sure that's why that happened. So. Um, it makes your decree easier to execute, um, but if you ever go into turmoil, you lose a lot more points. So the way the decree works... Um, is there one other step after you place Yeah, the last thing is if I have no roosts, I place That's a roost right. and three warriors. Yeah. So this I haven't, roost, I haven't right. seen that happen. If we take uh, your we, base out, it'd be yeah. pretty messed up. Yeah. You come back. It, it would, yeah, it'd be pretty hard to recover from that, I think, even with that. But yeah, so if you ever have no roost 
Um, and no warriors or just no roosts? No roosts. Just no roosts. You place a roost and two warriors. In, uh, in the clearing with the least fewest number of warriors. warriors. Right. So I haven't really seen that happen. So usually you'll add cards to your decree, and then the next thing you'll do is go to daylight. First thing birds can do is craft. They do have what's called a disdain for trade. So normally on a card, when you craft an item, you get one, two, or three points. A bird, the birds always get one point when they craft. So um, then the next thing you do is resolve the decree. And this is where I'm going to need you as Vanna White here. So you always resolve it from left to right, and you resolve every card in the decree. Uh, so, and if you have multiple, why don't you throw a few more cards in the decree so we can give that example. If you have multiple cards in the decree, you can resolve them in any order. It doesn't have to be the order that you play, in which you place them, um, but you must resolve them all. So in this case, there are two recruit actions. They're both bird cards, so he can recruit in any clearing. He has to do it twice, and because of his charismatic leader, he has to do two birds each time. So go ahead and do that. So my only roost right now is here. Right. His so only roost is there, right. so yeah, whenever you recruit, it has to be in a clearing with a roost. Um, you do not have to control that clearing, though. It just has to contain your roost. Right. Uh, the next thing you do is move. So he, it's moving from a clearing with that card, right? Uh, yes, from a clearing. Yeah. I cannot move to right. one of these. Like, so, you know, so in this yeah. case, he would actually end up... Uh, right, so, so the birds actually are a little bit different because the, their move has to be from a specific clearing. Although you still have the same requirements. You can yeah. move from or to right. when you so control. Like, technically right now, I couldn't actually... Complete that. Let's make it so you could, just for yeah. example's sake. Um, so we'll say here, there, and there. Okay. So in this case, um, you can move from here uh, because you do control. So that's the birds always win ties for control. So he can move somebody from the rabbit clearing, and then he could also move a couple guys from the mouse clearing. He's now completed that part of the decree. The next thing he has to do is battle. So again, it's a wild, so he can battle in any clearing. So he can choose any either of these two clearings. Um, and then the final thing you can do is build a roost. In a clearing that you control that matches the, the card in the decree that doesn't already have a roost, regardless of the number of open spaces. If so it has a roost, you can't do just it. Just here. Right, so and since it's a wild, he could do it. However, let's say, that was a mouse card instead. And he can't do anything. He already has a roost here. He can't build one there. So he goes into turmoil. Ooh. When when you go into turmoil, you there are four steps to turmoil. So the first one is your leader is humiliated. So your leader, um, you lose one. So the first thing you do is you count up all the bird cards in your decree, and you lose one point for each. So in this case, you lose three points. I'm not going to move the tracker. <laughs> well, but if it's a zero, um, you're capped, right? Right. If it's a zero, yeah, you can't go below zero. If if you go into turmoil and you go down to zero, though, it, you've been playing very poorly and you're not going to win anyways. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, after you lose the points, you're going to purge the decree. You're going to discard all cards in the decree except for your loyal viziers. And they would stay in the same spot? Nope. They, they're going to get they're gonna get moved in the next right. step. So... Um, so the next thing that you do is you depose your leader. So you're going to flip it over, That's and yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. You could just you yes. could throw it, but you could just see the bird claw. Yeah. Um, then you're going to choose a new leader from the ones that you've remaining, and then your turn to me your daylight phase immediately ends. So uh, uh, you don't but, get to. But first, you get to do the new viziers, right? No, you do not. You play, I mean, you moving play, them into, into their spots. You put them into their spots. That's what I was asking Yes, about. you move them into their spots based on the leader that you choose. Yes. But at that point, you your don't. turn is now over. You don't get to um, take any additional right. action. So if you lost, if you wanted to determine on your first action, if you only had one card and it was in your recruit and then you couldn't do it, your turn is just, you lose your whole turn. Yes. Yeah, Where wherever you end up not being able to do resolve your decree is when you That's go into turn. Yeah. You don't get to complete any any for future actions. Um, so that's pretty bad when that happens, but it's not the end of the world. All of your roosts stay on the board. 
So you're building up this big engine. You're doing lots of things. You're gonna have a, you're gonna build a bunch of roosts. You will eventually, most likely, go into turmoil um, if you have planned smartly and you haven't put a bunch of bird cards in your decree. You'll lose a few points and then you'll move on because your main point generation is roosts. So as you'll see on the board, at the bottom underneath each roost is a point value. Every turn at the in the evening phase, you're gonna gain victory points equal to the one the uh, rightmost empty spot so you start off getting one point per turn and then it goes up to two three four and eventually five so you can real it can really snowball for the birds and when you go into turmoil you don't lose the roosts that you have so you haven't lost your main point generation engine um so i've already explained the two special rules which are that the tie that birds win control and ties and disdain for trade so and we'll move on to the otters. So the otters are one of the new factions from the Riverfolk expansion. But is that the only thing from the Riverfolk expansion that we're playing with tonight? Yeah. There's no other like modules. Or... No, there's only I, I think there's only two things from it, and it's the fact two factions. Okay. There are some additional tokens included for scenarios that aren't actually developed yet, or they may be at this point, but they weren't in the the box when it came out, anyways. Okay. So. The otters, the otters are actually set up. They they set up at G. So if there were other factions in the game, they would most likely set up before the otters. Um, so otters place four warriors among any clearings along the river. So actually, let's clear the clear all the birdies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven here, right? Yeah. So we can get rid of it. It should be six. Six. Yeah. Oh, is it six? Yeah. Whoops. I'll double check real quick. I was yeah. trying to give you a handicap. I guess. Six. Yep. All right. So I place along the river. Um, just thinking out loud here. The uh, the otters, as I'll explain, are ple are are services for hire. So I'm placing along this part of the river because it's a place that the birds can get to, and the cats are already there. So I'm thinking maybe that. Maybe that will help me get some uh, services sold. So, four warriors among any clearings, and I have no idea how they actually play out, so I don't really have much strategy. But that's really it for setup um, for the otters. You'll notice that on the bottom right side of my board are all these spaces that I'm filling in with trading, uh, trading posts, or trade posts. Trade posts are how the otter's craft. I'll get to all of this in just a second. Let me just fill these in. Stunning and thrilling. There mm -hmm. we go. That's that's really the setup, and I'll choose these in a minute. Um, but that's the setup for the otters. So you so, have to start along the river, you said, and yep. just anywhere along the river. It's just yeah, four four war. Oh, I placed five. It's Four warriors and clearings along the river. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Sorry. All right. Okay. So the otters are um, services for hire. So their main purpose is for, to be here for the the cats and the birds are warring factions, and they can buy they can buy cards from me. They can buy river boats, which allow them to move along river spaces, and they can hire. The otters as mercenaries. So purchasing cards is pretty straightforward. So the otters, because their cards can be purchased, their cards are always face up. Um, would it be easier for you to see them if we did it across the top, maybe? Um, would that be in frame? It would well, be. You can yeah. zoom out. And I actually, I think I might be zoomed down enough for it already, but I can zoom out a little more. Okay. That would be helpful. Yeah. So let's do that. And these are the otters cards. Everyone is smart enough to figure okay. that out. Yeah. So. Let me just make sure we're that's, that's focused. Fair. Okay, so those are, uh, that's my starting hand. So, hand of cards. And so you'll notice these glass beads here. Um, you, I can, I set the cost every round as part of my, my bird song. Of uh, cards during each Actually, phase. sorry, I set that at the, at the evening of my turn, I will set all the costs. So I'll explain how you pay these costs, but that's what that section is. So, buying cards from my hand. 
river boats, as I said, travel along the river, and mercenaries. So when they hire me as uh, mercenaries, they cannot move my forces. They can use them in battle as if they were their own. When they take damage, they have to split it evenly, starting with starting with your own faction. So I lose a guy, you, you lose, lose a guy. Yeah, you always lose first, and then you split it back and forth. So um, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm interested to hear how you win the game. So the way that you pay for services is with warriors. Um, not warriors on the board, but warriors in your supply. So you will put warriors in my payment box equal to the service cost. Um, so that that's how you actually pay for the services. So if I wanted one of those cards, I would pay you two of these guys. Yep, so you take two cats and put, them put it there. Yep, and now you get to take a card. Any card I want. Any card you want. So unlimited choice. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So the first thing that that happens at the beginning of my birdsong phase is uh, called protectionism. If my payment box is empty, I can place two of my own warriors on there. Um, but in this case, it's not empty, so I would skip that. Uh, then I would score dividends. So dividends are from trade posts that are on the board. So if I have any trade posts on the board, I score one point for every two funds in my box. And, I'll exp and the next step is moving everything on your board to funds. So first you score points on the first turn. I will not score any points for this. But after that, I'm always going to move everything, whether it's in commitments or payments, I'm going to move everything on the board into funds. So in a future turn, if I have a trading post on the board anywhere, I would get one point for every two warriors in my funds box. Then daylight phase, I can in commit this case, two points. Yep. So in this case, two points. The next thing that I can that I do is my daylight phase. So here's where I do all the normal actions that everybody else does: so move, battle, draw cards, craft with trade posts. I can recruit. Um, so you can still move and build and build trade posts. Yeah, I can still move in battle. Okay. Which is an important thing to not forget. I forgot that in a previous game. Oh, that and you I, say you I like win. left my forces undefended, <laughs> undefended, and the otter was just like, well, "I'm going to kill all those." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were buds. <laughs> so, in order to um, in order to do any of these things, you commit funds. <clears throat> so you take funds from warriors from your funds box, and you move it to commitments. So I can move. A warrior to commitments to move, um, also to battle. Um, if I'm crafting, the way crafting works for otters is that at, after I build trade posts, I have empty spots in my trade posts. I can take funds and I can put them. So th th they're the only faction that actually has a way to track what you've used. I put funds there. I've now done two funds in a fox clearing. So if I had a card that required two fox clearing then I would be able to craft that card. I can commit a fund to draw a card. It's important to note that the otters don't draw cards automatically like all of the other factions. Mm -hmm. And since my cards are for sale, it's important that I have to take an action using funds in order to draw cards. But you can still use these. I can still use those cards, okay. yeah. Yeah, so I can craft those cards if nobody's bought them yet. Or play them, right? I mean, to like to use their effects? Yeah, well, you have to craft them to get their effects. Oh, Unless okay. it's like an ambush, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I guess ambush and... Um... Okay, so crafting is yeah. get the effect of the card. Mm -hmm. but... right. Like if you crafted this one, it would be a permanent effect, I believe. Yeah, I think and if it was a yellow, it would be an immediate effect. But you can also like discard cards for things sometimes, right? Not My, my particular faction doesn't have any discard card abilities. Okay. So in my case, no. My case, it's, it's usually commitments. Okay. So... Um, I can also commit a fund to place a warrior in any clearing with a river. Um, that's recruitment. And I can also establish trading posts. So a trading post requires two funds to be moved into the commitments box. Uh, it has to... So it has to match... It has to be placed in a matching clearing um, where the... Well, whatever funds I've committed, let me give an example. Yeah. So, can you give me two birds? So, if I wanted to build a fox trade post, 
the birds are in a fox clearing. I have to spend two birds, specifically birds, in order to place a fox trade post in that clearing. Because they control it? Uh, nope. It, anybody that I think it's anybody that's present. Uh, nope, it is controlling. So it has to be controlling. So even, yeah, if there were cats in there um, and the birds controlled it, it has to be birds. Um, so that's, that's the only time, I believe that's the only time where committing funds is where it matters what the faction. It's always two fun. for that, too. It's always two. Spend two. It's not yeah. per or something. Yeah. So every other action that I can take, it doesn't matter what type of fund it is, but for trade posts, trade post. it has to be the controller of the clearing where you're building the trade post. Okay. So like in this situation, you control this. So could you, my own. you could do your own. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if I had two funds in here, I could do that cool. and then put a, a rabbit clear in there. Um, and in fact, that's actually very important because I really need trade posts out. Um, sure. A, to score points, but the other important thing is the number of services that you can purchase is one plus one for every clearing that you're present in where I have a trading post. Can you repeat this? Smooth. Hey. Yeah. So the number of services that any player can buy is one plus one for each clearing they're present in where I have a trading post. Give so in sense. this case, you can buy two services. The base one plus you're present in an area where I have a clearing. So two services. So you can buy two services. Two like, like if you're in no clearings with his trading post, you can do one thing yeah. with him. So I need to trade. Options. I need to go to his trading post to trade with him, right? So that makes sense. No, no, no. So you always get to do one. Right. To do two, you have to be in a clearing with a trade post. Yeah. So yeah. Do one additional one. Sure. Yeah. So you guys kind of have to strike a balance because obviously trading posts are what get me points um, in the birdsong phase, but at the same time. You want the ability to be able to use more than one service per turn. That can be pretty powerful. And we can destroy them for points. You can destroy trading posts, just like any other. So you, you battle me and you knock them out. So that's actually important for the otters to remember because I can't go building trading posts and then moving all my guys out because you guys can just knock them out. Um, and if you knock out my last trading post, um, then I, lo I also yeah. lose half of my funds. Oh. So... If you if you get rid of my last trading post, I lose half of my funds. They go back to okay. whoever's. This are. is a weird one. Um, Interesting. Caveat though, um, trading posts don't get returned to the board when they're destroyed. Oh, so you still get your points. So I well I get I get the points when I build them. Um, if I don't have trading posts on the board though, I cannot do so I cannot score dividends still, but they remain off the board because I can still craft. So I can still use these empty spaces for crafting. So these these points only get rewarded when you build. When I build them, it's yep. not a recurring thing like right. with him. Right. Yours are the same way. They happen when you build them. Okay, they're oh, not recurring. Actually, right. I, and and I was I misstated. I said when my last trading post is if any trading post is destroyed, you lose half your funds. I lose half of my funds rounded up. Okay. Um, and and uh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You I was gonna say, like, I was gonna ask, like, how do we get our dudes back from you? I imagine that's one way. So, um, when I spent, okay, so there's a difference between, and you know what? I'm glad you asked that because I misspoke again here. So, when I commit a fund, I move it to the commitments box. When I spend it, I give it back to the owner. So, for recruitment and establishing trade posts, I give them back. So, if I want to establish a trade post here. I actually give Morris his two birds back, and then I put my trade post in the fox clearing. Okay. Um, and with recruiting, spend a fund to place a warrior in a clearing of the river. So I could do my own, but if I use yours, you get it back. Either way, it comes off my board. Uh, those are the most powerful actions, so they reduce the amount of... Because otherwise, at the beginning of my next turn, everything moves here. So I keep okay. reusing them. Uh, you have that back. The last thing I do is the evening phase, I discard down to five cards, and then I set my services costs. And so 951. Yep. So the one thing I just want to check is do I start? This is giving yes, I do set a starting service. A cost. So, um, one thing I'll mention from setup, I changed my um, leader because of things that I learned, uh, it didn't make any sense for me to have that other leader. Okay. So uh, I now have the um, the builder, which is recruit and move, and the builder's ability is ignore uh, disdain for trade when I craft, so I get all of the points from cards when I craft. Okay. 
So when I craft, I have, like there's these items up here. Crafting gives you things, but the items, can I use the items at all? Or you can't. It... So um, you would be doing it for the points. In a game with the Vagabond, the Vagabond can take it your would... items from you in order to give you cards. Right. So that's not really of utility in this, because the, because the Vagabond's not in the game. Right, it's just for the points. Got it. And I would just like take the thing away from somebody else. Yeah, you just put it put in your crafted it... items. Yeah, yeah. We, okay. You could honestly toss them to the side since they can't, they're not used for anything. Okay. Yeah. Um, another random thing. Uh, there are ruins blocking certain four spots that you can build on. Normally with a Vagabond, they would explore those and open those up. More spaces for you to build in or me. Well, I guess you know, that's irrelevant for me, but those are not going to move. So those, okay. are, those are locked down in this game. Okay. Yep. All right. So I'll bring up the... Uh... Bring up the camera. Hey. And right there. Cool. All right, let's get let's get this show on the road. All right. Cat let's goes first, it. right? Cat does go first. So is it cat, me, you? Yep. Adam says, hey, no more trains, now just rats. <laughs> cool. Okay, uh, okay, we've, got, we've got five people watching now. I think uh, Morris and Adam are two of them, though. Yeah, I'm there, <laughs> so... <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, if you just watched through the drill speech, hopefully that was helpful. Yeah. It's been a long day, so hopefully I didn't miss anything. Hopefully I did an alright job. Yeah, it's a long day. I think, I, think uh, pretty good. I think I I think I covered everything. Yeah. So. Nothing all major. Right. Yeah. So how do we get started? Uh, I'm, gonna, so, I'm gonna take like a turn or two of you guys helping me to sure. like so get ready. It's it's really easy because you're just gonna follow. I, I start so first, yeah. you go first. You go Always. first. Yep. Yeah. And you it just goes go in the same setup order, I believe. Yeah. One, two, three, every turn. I think yes. so. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going clockwise, starting with me. So bird song, place one wood at each solid. So I got a wood on a solid. One. It goes there. Is, um, that, is everybody seeing? Are you seeing this? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I can I've... see it. It's up to date. It is okay. I can yep. see you guys. I can see my disembodied hands. All right, because for some reason my my previous yep. screen is is gone. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So I place a wood. I'm done with my bird song. Daylight. Craft cool. using workshops. I have yes. one question before yes. we get going. When can we buy stuff from you? Anytime during daylight. Johnny is teching. You can buy services from me. Here we go. Mm, there we okay. Go. Cool. So we are. All right. When when can we buy? Um, during you know, at what point during my turn can I buy stuff for you? Anytime. That's a good question. Let's check the rulebook. I, I think it's anytime during your turn. So. Learning to play. Um, this is stuff. this is the rule. This one. So. Uh, services. At the start of your bird song phase. Cool. Okay, so up front. Yes. In this case, for example, I could buy one of these cards if I wanted to, like. Give you some stuff. Yeah. Buy some mercenaries. Any one of these out so here. So you can't move my characters. You can only use them for battle. So I wouldn't if you them. hire them as mercenaries. Um, are, they, are they mine permanently? It's for this turn. Okay. So you want to hire them when you plan to attack. With and, them. and a river boat just means that I can use the rivers to move, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have no use for any of those things, I don't think. Yeah, so it's during daylight and evening of this turn. So it, yes. Yeah. Um, so... It's only during daylight and evening of your turn, so you, you can't purchase them. And then, if Morris attacks you, use them as your warriors. After your evening phase, got it. No longer yours. So okay. in this case, it wouldn't make any so sense. So it's only for really attacking. Yes, it's not for defense. Mm -hmm. um, so battle, march, recruit, build, uh, and overwork, and I can do three of those things. Discarding a bird card for something for I really want to do. Yep. Um, and crafting items would just give me. Whatever the thing says. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to stand up for a little bit because my back's starting to hurt from sitting all day. It has been a long day of sitting. <laughs> all right. So, I don't know. I'm going to... Um, building seems good. I'll build. I guess I've got a wood over there. You want to build. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, recruitment is protection. Workshops is crafting. Sawmills are more wood. Yep. And so in order to build, you pick the clearing that you want to build in, and can then I, you're going to just make sure you trace that one. Can I build wood. twice? If you have yeah. enough wood. Yeah, you can do any of these Okay, actions. but I only have the one wood. Right. right. But you could overwork, potentially, and right. then use do a second build action. Got it. 
And you've seen your, your wood costs are the column. Oh, so one like wood to build this first one, ones. two yeah. will to build. Okay. So you could right. potentially overbuild and then build two buildings in your first turn. I don't know if that's a good move. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to build a recruiter. And when I recruit, they pop up everywhere, right? They pop up at the One at each recruitment. Uh, yeah, but I, uh, yes. that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is all of them simultaneously. Yeah. Build that wood legal path, right? Yep. That thing pops up. I score a point. Yeah, just to walk it through a little bit slowly for people watching, it's he controls all three of those clearings, so that's the unbroken path that we're talking about. Right. Um, and then, so that's action number one. Action number two is to recruit. So I'm going to recruit here and here. Yep. Um, and then action number three, I can't, I can't, can I, I can't recruit again. It's once per turn. Okay. Um, marching, I don't know about that. I can, let's overwork. Oh, spend a card to place one away. Right, so down. it would be, in this case, a fox card. Or a bird card. One would at, it would go there, right? Yeah, it goes at your sawmill. So why a bird card? Oh, bird card goes it's, wild. It's in a fox card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'll spend a card. I'll spend a... Anvil card. This is the discard pile, yep. all right? Works. And I'll produce another wood over here. Can you destroy wood as a, for a victory point? Yes. Uh, I don't yeah, think so. I think it's but any tokens. I don't know. Um, I mean, I think it would be better for me if I could. Yeah. Well, you don't like, get to choose. So. Oh yeah, you get to choose what gets. But I, I do think that tokens if get you destroyed. run out of any other tokens that you want to destroy, you can choose those. Um, Root aficionados in the chat, let us know if yeah. you know the answer to that. Can you defeat? Can you destroy wood for points? All right. So is that your turn? Is that what you were actually gesturing? Yeah, yeah. I that think those are my actions, right? Um, evening. Oh, draw a card. Plus one card for each one of the things. Uh, discard down to five cards. Okay, so I draw a card. So you draw one. All right. So first thing I'm going to do during bird song, uh, I'm going to pay the otters one bird to buy this bird card. Cool, so, so that goes in the funds. funds. I'm saying not funds, payments. Payments. Um, I will add one or two cards to my decree. One of them can be a bird card. Definitely going to drop this bird card. Um, Yeah, it just it's just um, enemy buildings or tokens. So okay, those are tokens. We'll build. So, so what I'm thinking of doing on my turn, just to make sure it's legit, I want to put at least this bird card here and build. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'll recruit and then I'll move uh, to one of these. And I just need to move. Like if I moved one one bird here, I would control the clearing. I would rule it because I win ties. So what so you you bought a card is what you did here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you moved one there, you would Because it's one to one to one. Yep. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, right now there's considered yeah. to be no rule. I, I don't, there. like, I can move into a clearing and not have to fight people right away. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have to fight them to get, get them out of there. Then so the question is... You did that to uh, stop me from getting to payments, didn't you? What? <laughs> no, say so what? If this is empty at the beginning of my turn, I get two. So now I... Oh. There, there's a bird card out there. I gotta grab it for the, <laughs> for the decree here. I should have set so, that to two. Now I need to figure out, do I want to add another card? Um, I feel like I don't. I don't want to overcommit yet. Uh, yeah, let's just go with that. So add one card. Uh, no roost. That's not true. So I'm moving to daylight. I can craft using roosts, I choose not to, and then I resolve the decree. So I can do these in any order, right? No, it's left to right. Recruit, move, build, battle. Yeah, it's always that order. Cool. So right. recruit, I'll recruit one at that roost. Okay. I will move, I will move, um, could you move? Yeah, just give me numbers. Move three here. And then I will build, so I will build one roost there. Decree successful. Um, 
So that's it. So you had no battle action. So on all of my... Currently, all of these are bird cards, which makes them wild. So I can do all of these in any clear. Any room, just to right. be So like yep. build, I can build in any clear. Right. Um, so moving on to evening, score one VP. So I get one, please. One VP. Uh, because I have, I built one. So this is the uh, the rightmost revealed one. And that's it. Disc, uh, draw one card, plus one per uh, card symbol shown. But I don't have that, so I just need to draw one card. Thank you. All right. Yeah, now it's my turn. <clears throat> so, uh, payments box is not empty, so I do not place two words in it. Uh, I also don't score dividends because I don't have any trading posts. And then I gather everything into my funds box. So now I move into my daily, and I have one fund that I can commit to something. So I'm going to commit a fund to move. River up to there, and so that's the only thing I can do with the commitment. Um, and then I go to daily discard down to five. I already only have two, and then I'm gonna set my services costs. So let's see, I'll leave that there. I'll do those at two each. So what are what are they from top to bottom? Um, so this is uh, cards, riverboats, mercenaries. Why not? So I would pay two and get how many for the two? Just one? No, you get all. You get of, all like, of. You all get access everybody to everybody on your his, whole board. Yeah, yeah, for the turn. That's cool. Just the services of your whole empire. Mm -hmm. All right. So is that the first turn? Mm -hmm. So we just go back to me and we just keep going. Well, he finishes mm -hmm. his evening. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not done. Well, yeah, I mean, set service cost is the last thing. You don't uh, draw a card. Nope, I don't draw cards automatically unless he spends stuff. Yeah, or whatever. How do you how do you draw cards again? I draw have cards? to um, commit a fund. So you you would go from funds to commitments. Yeah. Okay. And you can do that right uh, now. Yeah. And I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna make uh, three because I think at the beginning of the game. Your warriors and your supply are much less valuable to you because you can't get them on the board. Okay, so back to me then. Yep. Um, so my bird song, uh, I can. I would have to start right now. I'd have to choose to do some of those if I wanted yeah. to do it right. Um, so obviously, my hope here is that you. Yeah, I want you, you, you want me to fight <laughs> the bird, right? Like that's what you want me to do. Yeah. Or or vice versa, but you, I he doesn't need the help. You want me to do it. Um. It seems fine. It seems like a good deal, except three guys gives you funds, which makes you great. But also that guy over there has got his wilds. But you have to also consider that funds aren't necessarily a bad thing for me to have because it gets me cards that you can potentially buy or... Yeah. It's very um, craftily. Yeah. Nice, good, good sales pitch. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do it. Well, I want to experiment with this. So I'm going to give you three into no the payments. payments. Yeah. Uh, and now I've got your mercenaries at my disposal. Bird song. Um, yeah, I want to pull the lever on that a little bit and see how it works. <laughs> um, place on wood. Place one wood. I got a wood at a sawmill at each sawmill, which is just that one. You have two now. Yeah, I got two total. Um, daylight, I get to craft using workshops. I got one workshop, so I would have to have a card that has one thing. So like this one, I guess, if I would have bought your card up front, I could have gotten two victory points for it. Um, nope. Yeah, so first craft and then take up the three actions. And if I discard bird cards, I can do extra actions. So, uh, a build, I can do two builds for the two wood, right? You could do two builds, yeah. Or you yeah. could build one thing for two wood. Oh, that's right. One thing for two wood would be this one. Yep. Um, yep, so let's, let's do one build action to build another recruiter. Um, and we'll put that one. So if I put this here, Johnny, Johnny, if I put yep. this here, would I recruit two people onto that spot? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I... Um, yeah, so I'm going to put one. Can you have two, two of the same building in one spot? I assume you could. I don't see why that would be. And there's no more free spots here. You don't rule that clearing. Either. Oh, and I have to rule the clearing. I don't rule this clearing either? No, I don't think so. Tied ruling, no, tied. right? This is not a ruling That is not a ruling. So I'll put it here, I think. Um, and so that was one action. And you 
you spent two wood to do two it. Two wood to do it. So yeah. I'm just going to keep them over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're the, my wood handler, right? Oh. Uh, I will <laughs> I will require payment. Okay. Uh, for all that wood handling. All right. So one action. Second action is going to be um, to, to like march. Oh, no. To recruit. I'm going to actually recruit. So I get three, three of them. One, two, three. Popping up. Got some little defense going. And then I'm going to uh, do a battle here. Since I have four guys to your three. Yep. We roll, I roll both of these, right? Yep. Uh, where's, I don't know what we got. Visibility um, on the board. Okay, on the board. Careful. Oh, there. Just careful. Careful. <laughs> I didn't know where that was from. So two and a three. So uh, I'm going to do three damage and you're going to do two, right? That's right. So we go one, two, three for you. And I get no points for this, but you're gone. And then when you do my two, it's one and one. Yes. You do one of yours first. Yes, one of mine, and then, and then the otter. So I actually don't have any more presence there. But neither do you. That's my turn. Your turn. I had an extra something. Well, the, the main thing was just not knowing what was in view on the screen. Yeah. Well, I figured it'd be good to just have something. You can just you can roll them off screen in that and then just hold them and hold them under the hand. Sure. In this epic, epic tiny epic quest yeah. box. We got six viewers. Nice. Hey everybody. Hey everyone. Thanks for joining us. If you just Thanks. tuned in, uh, we're playing Root. It's going great. I got lots of cats. Welcome. Yeah. Stay a while oh, and so you listen. A, a three to two. In the worlds in the worlds? In the words of Whatever the guy, Sean Connery from Diablo. <laughs> Stay a while. And oh. <laughs> no? Uh, what's his name? You ever play the original Diablo? No. Oh, man. What's his All name? All right. I think that I'm going to, so I'm going to add one card to my decree. I'm going to place a bunny under recruit. Just one. Just one. A bunny. Um. Should I do just one? Deckard Cain. Deckard Cain from Diablo. Okay, he's in Diablo 3 as well. He probably says stay a while and listen at some point. Oh, really? If you I didn't to. notice that. That was like his thing that he said. Two of those. Man, what a good game that was. Diablo 3 is actually... I'm I, sure I never played good. Diablo before, but... Um, I got out of the video game scene. Girl, Girl and I played that. I'm going to do That's two bunnies cool. under recruit. Two bunnies going broke. Uh, I don't have no roosts. Crafting. Um, not going to craft. Uh, resolve the decree. So three recruit on bunnies. Well, I can recruit. Right. Only two of them have to be on bunnies. But two of them are on bunnies, and one is over there. And I will move. Um, I would like to move. Uh, move move, move is this? move is one group of warriors. Well, he would have had to hit yeah. one. Oh, that's true. He would have had front. to do that up front. Right. One, one Before your bird zone, one space, right? Sorry, what was that? Move is one group of warriors, yeah. one space. Yes. From two. or to a clearing you control. So I think I'm going to go here with two, and then I will build in a in a bunny clearing here. No battles. Uh, no battles. Um, that is my decree. I'll take two victory points and two cards, please, because I re revealed a card symbol. Two VPs mm -hmm. for the birds. Two cards. One, two cards. Come on. All right. Come on. Those roosts are going to be a problem. What are you making? Two, two points uh, around now. So, yeah. All right. So, that's the end of your turn. I mean, problem. That's relative. <laughs> you know, you can fight with those otters you got. I could. I probably... I'll give you some funds to do some I stuff. I probably won't. I may have if you hadn't brought all those ores over there, but... Um, what? Well, now we're tied. No, oh. so I can't even get rid of the roost. Oh, because he I, guys it. I also rule it because we're tied. Yeah. So. So same rules. You can't leave here, right? Unless you're going to a place you control, which is nowhere. Yeah, you don't rule there. Yeah. You can't even move. No moving. No. Good battle, though. Um. Well, I I can also um recruit, so I can spend a, a fund to place a warrior in a clearing with the, the river. So true. So you can do that on any clearing with a river in it. 
Yeah. Hmm? yeah. You could do like you could do that here. Yep. That's cool. You if I were you, I would draw <laughs> some cards. Because I, I will happily buy cards. For you. <coughs> I would like to draw cards. I would also like to get uh, trade posts on the board. Um, I'd also like to get... I, I want everything. You want to do the it more, all? The more cards you get out here, the more dudes I'm going to give you, the more so, trade posts you can build. Since I don't have trade posts, I don't score dividends. Um, gathered all the funds into the funds box. Or everything on my board into the funds box. So... I could commit a fund to move. Your drink is right in front of the number of viewers we have. Oh, we lost one. We have five. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to commit. Man, building trading posts is going to be really tough for me to do. Tell me about it. So in order for me to do this, I have to commit a fund to move guys somewhere, but then I also have to be able to spend two funds to build it to of whoever controls it. So I need to end up somewhere that you control. Yeah, so like over there. Yeah, because I, I can't do it in either of the places that yeah, I'm Yeah, it's at. one of these two, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, or, or here. Although, no, if you pop up, then who would you control it? Uh, I don't need control. Okay. I just need to spend funds of somebody that well, controls but, it. But but okay. You, so you're not recruiting. You're not going to pop up a guy there at an honor. Because if you did, I wouldn't control this anymore. That was my right. Example. Yeah, I'd have to go Sorry. somewhere. I could go there it's those two spots. potentially. Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna commit a bird. To move. Okay. And we're going to move here. I thought you can can't. Move? Oh, you don't you're control. right, you're right. I cannot you move. You have to recruit. You don't rule. I do, you're right. I do have to you're recruit. Talking. So I have to spend a fund. So I'm going to spend one of yours. Spend a cat. And, and that lets you pop a That lets otter. me pop an otter up and. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, river seems good. Sure. So now I can spend two more. Okay. In order to build a trading post, and that would end up being that would be a mouse trading post. And that's fine. Now there's a trading post, so I could do two things. Yes. Because um, I'm present there, or because I control it. Just because you're present. Okay. Then I'm going to commit a fund to draw a card. Thank. You. Wasn't a good one to draw. So this is uh, the one of the dominance cards. Yes. So we could buy it off of you and then like use that as the win con. Yeah. Okay. If we, if, I don't know. Hand, yeah. Just like if you have at least ten points, play during the daylight and remove your score marker. You win the game if you rule three fox clearings at the start of your bird zone. Right. So each of the dominance cards are basically the same. It's um, there's I think there's three of each clearings and it's basically control all three of them of whatever type of card that is at the beginning of bird song. There's one exception which is control opposite two opposite corners. corners. Yeah. At start of your turn. Uh huh. So it's back to me then. Uh yeah. So I would well I yeah. would discard down to five cards and then set service costs. I'm not going to discard, but I'm going to set services. We'll do riverboats at three. Or is it two? Yeah. Oh. Oh, and I get two points for building the trading post. I forgot to draw an extra card last time because I revealed that. You also didn't take your victory points, did you? No. Okay. Did I draw so any cards? You should have actually drawn that dominance card. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Oh, well. This is random. I think I should have drawn two. Yes, I never drew any of my cards. Okay. Okay. Um, and just turned out to five. I have five, so that's like the number. Okay. It is oh. random, but that screwed me because nobody's going to buy that card. Good random. <laughs> um, Especially not a two. So. You weren't going to buy it anyways. Maybe. No, I'm already in a fox clearing. Yeah. Bird song. So you moved your prices up? Yeah. Because um, I gave you all your stuff back, so I'm hoping that you'll just keep spending it and I'll keep giving it back to you. Yeah. 
Um, so I'm not going to do any purchasing, I don't think. Um, hey, you don't want to move along the river? And fight him? Well, that would be move along the river. Yeah. Let's not fight. Can't we just, like, coexist? No. As I expanded your territory? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd rather just go this way and not move along the river and fight him there, I think. We've got a recruitment spot over there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to I place a wood on my sawmill, on each of my sawmills, which is just one right now. Um, I'm then going to... I can craft using my workshops, but again, I just have one. Let me see if I can craft anything now. Um, I... So, does it have to be workshops in the matching symbol? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Cool, good stuff. That's that symbol, that's that symbol. That's that symbol. All right. So then I will build, and I will build a sawmill um, here using the wood. Um, that gives me a victory point. And then, um, so that's, that was one action, right? Mm -hmm. Two, Build. yeah. Huh? Build. Yes. I'm going to do this. Build. It's an action. Second action, um, recruit. So I'm going to put three cats out, I think. One, two, three. And it's then... cats. Um, then I'm gonna uh, overwork is spend a card, any card. Hmm. That seems good. That also seems good. I'm going to dis discard that bird card to uh, overwork and do an extra action oh wait you make wood. wood wood making wood that's what i wanted to do yeah okay so that was only third action do you want it here i think you can put it on either do we get another action or yeah that it's... was third action right oh you just spent a bird card spending oh, oh i see i see overwork requires you to spend a card i thought you were doing it to do an extra action i get you no, you okay. can't overwork to do another action, can you? Right. No, 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 you can discard bird, bird cards. cards. I thought you were doing that. Oh, yes. But so you made an extra wood, right? Sorry, so I can't actually do what I wanted to do. Okay, so um, if I do get rid of, say, um, this card. So if the if that was for the overwork, and then the bird, the bird card from before. Well, you can't overwork... Oh, oh, yeah, that is no, a box no. turn. Yep, I got you. Yeah, so okay. the first one was the overwork. Now, now I'm spending this bird card. Okay, now that I understand how this works. To do an extra action. To do an extra action and do another build. Um, and now I'm going to build um, a workshop. And I'm going to put it out here. Um, and that gives me two points. One, two. Yep. Okay. That's all three actions. I'm all right. On. All right. I hadn't considered that there was only one spot to build here, and I'm like building all these things. Cool. Right. Your bird song, I can buy stuff, which I will not, because they're too expensive. Because those are not worth it for me. Because they are not bird, bird cards. Well, Damn, is the uh, breaks. Oh wait, I actually had to actually draw cards. I draw, I draw two cards. It's not worth it for me to have you spend one because I get two for free. That's fair. I don't know if you guys can hear the cat. Shmoo. <laughs> wow, wow Shmoo, so you are in pain. One or two cards. Give her some cat drugs or something. That's what it was? Yeah. You left the milk out. Here's the question. Do I start battling? I assume I eventually have to, because otherwise you'll be able to amass things and just kind of run over my forces. But I'm kind of thinking that, because it's just you, like, 
he might battle me. But because it's just you, I can kind of like... Like if you... You know... If you sweep through here, I can just go that way. Because I just need to keep... I just need to keep like four or five roosts out. And I'm golden. What are the so, color codings for... Like permanent versus temporary effects? Yellow is this, immediate. That's, gray is permanent. That's a permanent effect. Well, it's a, yeah, persistent. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Some of them you discard when you do them, but you don't okay. get them right away. I have a feeling that the more risky and the pro move is to. Oh, man. Those otters are variables, though. Or what? Variables. The otters are variables. He's worried that. Because you add power. Yeah, but he not, could move a couple cats in there. He can move a couple cats in there and trash that. Right. I feel like I just do that. Hey, Nick, are you present, fellow fellow host? If you are, apparently. Cats. This is how you do it. <laughs> uh, I so I added a card of my cats and didn't do well last time. I'm, I'm probably not winning. Um, Currently. I, I technically am, but it's all transient. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. So I think I might craft. So I have two bunny clearings. So I'm going to craft this. Um, put it down here. So I'm going to use two bunny clearings to craft uh, this better burrow bank. So at the start of Birdsong, you and another player draw a card. Oh, so it's good for you. It's great for me. For I could probably make you draw a card to, to try to get more yeah. get more bird cards out there. Me. That was cooler than I thought it was going to be. All right. Uh, so that's craft. Resolve the decree. So I'm going to recruit thrice. Recruit. Let's bolster here. Let's bolster again there. Um, Move. I will also then... What do we want to do? I have to move and then I have to battle. I feel like I want to... Move. And then battle. So I'm going to battle there. Yep. So two against one. So um, uh, I have things. You are okay. Well, um, oh, is it what is it? Do I do it before? Yeah, you're supposed to do it before. Oh, never mind. Sorry. These are persistent effects. I need to craft first. Great. So uh, you. you lose a cat, and I lose a bird. All right. And I'm going to build. And actually, that was riskier than I thought because the only place I can build is here, and I kind of didn't really think about that but it worked out so I built well he only had one guy there so yeah I guess so but if I had, yeah even if you tied you that's know. true yeah. it could have been risky uh, <laughs> resulted in create success score VPs uh, plus three please um, draw one card plus one card yeah, per card so two cards please I need to draw and you need to figure out your uh, your pricing structure is a little. You figure out your economy up here. You need more of those. I would rather you not buy anything than for buy, than to buy it under two because I get two in my payments for free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so there's your two. I place my two. No dividends. Everything moves into funds. So I feel like the thing is that I need to let like he and I need to just keep moving up and up and up, and then I need to use your stuff. To knock him down so I keep going and, and vice versa, right? That's what that's what he's supposed to well, be. Well the funny thing is like you need to build stuff. Yeah. That's the only thing you need to do. So I, to do. I actually am not incentivized to attack your buildings because every time I destroy one, I make it easier for you to rebuild it. So I'm gonna commit a fund uh, because pop up there. it lowers the cost, but you get the victory points again. Yeah. I'm so I'm not actually incentivized to attack your buildings other than trying to control your uh, your power on the board. So, I guess it does get me one victory point, but I have a I'm getting three a turn 
not really doing yeah. much. So I'm, I actually spend a spent a fund to pop up a warrior there. Um, Can you? I rule it. Is that a thing? Yep. Yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. Okay, cool. No, it just has to be in a in a river. I'm going to commit Your, a uh, fund. Oh, sorry. I could have um, like had this guy come back over there, right? If you, if you uh, discard a mouse. It's a mouse card? Yep. Sorry, I didn't realize. I am... Um, yeah, I'll discard a mouse card. No, no, that's stupid. No, it's not. Okay. So I'm committing a fund to um, draw a card. I don't know, for one, this is a good card. Take a random card from a player and they score a point. Um, and then I'm going to commit a final fund to craft. I'm going to craft, uh, not that one, this one. Takes one. Oh, oops, I moved into commandments, but I should have moved that there. Um, it's a mouse, it's a, a bunny suit, but it's a mouse card for crafting, and it gets me root T and two points. So I'll take the root T, we'll discard it. I don't care about it. Two points. And then I discard down to five, um, and set my costs, and one, two, three, so, my goodness, I'm going to leave, I'm going to put river boats at two, cards at two, and mercenaries at three. Mercenaries at three. Okay. So I need to decide up front if I'm going to buy some of these things. I'm not against the idea. I'm a little concerned about all this business up here. I don't know what he's doing there, but I don't like it either. Well, I'm hoping that you'll go in there and hire me. Let's crush him. So he doesn't know. keep scoring points. Yeah, well, I would like, this seems better. Um, but although, I already have two guys there. Like, I can't, I can't knock him out of here. He's got four guys. Oh my, wow, schmoo. But you can um, weaken him and then move in here and there. And this, the point is to disrupt his... Get through. His decree. Sure. So I will decide to do mercenaries. So it's three guys. In payments. Um, and then... Um, sorry. Bird song. Place one wood at each sawmill. Can you do that, please? Uh, and then got three wood total out there. Three wood total. Then we will. I don't want to do a build. So I build. I have three wood. I could build that one, but I like. I have two crafty things that I can craft at now. One is at a fox, and the other is at a bunny. Um, that's cool. I'm going to discard the... So so I guess let's do... You can also craft in the mouse clearing up there. Hmm? The upper right corner. I can craft, even though I don't have a... Oh, no, I don't have a... I don't have a thing. Of, have a workshop. Oh, workshop. Oh, crafting, crafting, crafting. I'm thinking building. I thought you were looking at building. No, yeah. Okay. I was. I'm just trying to wrap right. my head around this still. Um... So the wood, I need to be able to spend the wood. That gives me three points versus that's two, and it's more guys. That's good. Um, I don't really feel like I need more cards. Sure. Yeah, let's build this. Um, and I can put this anywhere, right? Oh, excuse me. Anywhere that your wood... Connects to. Anywhere that, yeah, right. Connect, connects to. And I have Through control, right? Ruled clearings. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. So let's build here. Um, that gives me three points. One, two, three. Um, and it costs me three wood. <clears throat> so that's all three wood. Um, that's one action. 
Uh, I'm going to move, and when I move, I don't need to like discard cards to match symbols or anything, right? Yeah. So yeah, you just have to move so, from so or to I'm, a I'm going to recruit. I'm going to recruit first, um, which is one, two, three, four. So that's my second action. Um, I can spend a bird card to do four actions this turn, um, which I guess technically I wouldn't do. Yeah, you do it after after your, this next action. Yeah. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna march or whatever it's called. March. Take two moves. So I'm gonna march um, those three in, and then. Um, I do that one. Yep, do that. A whole bunch of those over there. Um, and then we're going to have. So then we'll do this and we'll do a battle there. Ooh, I approve. Uh, and I've got his otter, which, like, I don't know if that was really worth it, but defense with my guess. Three and a two again. So I kill your three. I do one and one. So your otter is dead, my guy is dead, your birdies are dead. I don't get any points for any of that. Um, that's all my actions, including my overwork. And then I draw um, one card plus one card. I draw two cards. Okay. Morris, you need to start getting rid of his uh, recruit recruiters if you're gonna... It's all good, man. Stay alive. <laughs> all right, so start a bird song. Me and another player draw a card. So I will draw a card. Yeah. And I will have you, Johnny, draw yeah. a card. Do you want to put it up in my uh, display? Code breakers. All right. Um, so I also buy stuff. Your cards are at two. And you can um, buy one service. Let's go oh, ahead. Okay. Just card a card for having this guy go back over there, right? Hmm? Yeah. Any card? So I'm gonna buy. Oh, it has to be wherever the battle is. So a bunny card. So oh, you get okay. two, two. Uh, Would yeah. you take? I, I will have card? done that. I took a mouse. And which one was it? Investments. So yeah. Uh, Morris, I used my field hospital. I discarded the bunny card to make the guy that died go back over there. Cool. Um. So I need to add a card to my. Just tons of recruits. I'm recruiting, you're recruiting. So I'm going to recruit more. If he loses that. So I will craft using roosts. Yep. So I still have two uh, two bunny roosts. So I'll craft some coins for three victory points, which I get all of uh, despite this because of the builder. Right. So you get so three points? Three points. Yeah. Two of you. Doubling my score. Is there something that led me to believe I would get an extra point for that somehow? I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it was a card. In you there. get two extra points for it because of your leader. So No, I know, but I thought there was something <laughs> that I got one more. All right, so now I'm going to go through my decree. So I'm going to recruit quattro times. So let's see here. I need to move one, battle one, and build. So... So I could do this. That's what three of the recruits. Yep. And then I could also do. Is there a limit to how many pieces you can have in an area? Mm -hmm. yeah. That. Uh, no. Um. This isn't forbidden stars. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> it all looks similar. Yes, lots of the same kind of pieces. Cats, birds, otters. All featured heavily in Forbidden Stars. Uh oh, we lost another viewer. Uh, uh, we're boring. Could be that I, <laughs> could be that I turned off. <laughs> That's right. You were just a phantom viewer the whole um, time. What do I do here? 
here. I think I just do this. So that's my move. That's a, that's a move. I'm battling here. Uh, uh, okay. Do I do that? Let's do that. Let's kick out your recruiter, maybe. So that's a move. Oh, baby. Wow. So yep. can you get a point for the building? That goes back in your board. Sorry. Sticky, Wreck it and then you drop it? Sticky bird fingers. So do that. Disrespectful. And then I will build on this clearing to complete my decree. Uh, you gave me a card. point. Cool beans. Uh, and then I'll take four more for uh, my decree. And then I also will draw two cards. There you go. And uh, have you been discarding down to five? We need to shuffle these. This is the first time I have more than five. Okay. What happens if I discard a dominance card? Shuffle. I shuffled the crap. It becomes. <laughs> if you, it goes. It wasn't streaming. It I says thought. if spent it would... for suit, make available. But does it? Does that work when it gets discarded, or does it go into discard? Mm. What was your question? Dominance card. When you discard a dominance card, it, it says it becomes available for it everyone. It says else. if spent for suit, make available. Does not say right. If you or spend discard. it as a dominance card. I'm no, not, he's discarding it right now. But if I now. discard, he's not spending it for suit. He's just getting rid of it. Ah, uh, let's check the rules because uh, which one? Everything, There's like fifty books. Everything I read, I thought said that if you discard it, it becomes available. I'm gonna stand too and join the standing party. Hey, yeah, my back is killing me from standing all. My butt hurts. That my butt hurts. <laughs> no. So I'm gonna not. Uh, I'm not discarding a dominance card. I'm gonna discard this guy instead. So I got five now. That is my turn. Johnny, your turn. Water. Look for the rule, and then do your thing. Well, we just lost another viewer, mostly because they're looking at two empty seats. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure the answer to that one. Uh, that might be one day. <clears throat> we didn't lose another viewer. All right, so um, payments isn't empty, so that doesn't happen. I have nothing in my funds, so I do not score any points. And everything on my board moves into funds. All right, let's see. You guys are really running away with it. I feel like I need to do something to stop you. So, I can do that. One, two, three. All right, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is craft this card. Um, that there. And I'm going to take a look at your hand. What's during daylight? Do you craft during daylight? I do. Okay. It's not particularly exciting. It's not. <laughs> um, I needed to know, though. It's like, so... thematically, that's market research. <laughs> but you know what I want. <laughs> so... Uh, your cat is currently uh, just moved into the clearing that I'm sitting in. <laughs> nice. Um, all right, so basically... That's why she's all excited, because she's like, oh, yeah. I have cat friends. So basically my thought here is, I, I mean, I don't like how much you're recruiting. Uh, not much I can really do about that. Him or me? You, um, because it means that you're, you don't have anything to spend. You and, need to take pieces off the board. Yeah, exactly. And you're not doing anything to help, but... If, I go, after, cards out there, if I go after him, the problem is is that you're already way ahead. So I feel like getting rid of your roost is more important. It is. I agree. Um, but you need to take care of some of this stuff. I'm work I'm working there. <laughs> so make your So I'm gonna have to attack you somewhere to get rid of um, I'm gonna try to do it in the places where you don't have a lot of guys so that way you can still handle the cats. That's kind of my plan. So let me see how I can do that. I mean do it. I mean, well, so like, Warriors you're, have to go you're, not, first. you're not wrong. You could do it there because you're not actually going to remove, like, 
if if you want to remove my roost, that's one thing. But I have to remove your roost. If you want my dudes off the board. I don't care about um, getting or dudes off the leave, board. Or like, leave those there, because you can. I can re- help. If he moves into that clearing, I can fight him with your dudes. And don't let him take, convince you. Take no, don't let him convince you to win. To let him win. This is really a negotiation game. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, no, see, the thing is, is that you're not spending a lot of money with me, so I don't really care about you having guys... If you had better Eric's, cards, Eric's actually spending money with me. I will once, like if I had, if you had he dudes in a clearing, us. these are just sitting here making me nervous. Move them here, and I'll <laughs> come down here and attack that. If you lower your mercenary thing, I can't. I gotta be able to do boats and mercenaries to move in and attack there. So you gotta lower your prices, man. I'll take full advantage. Smush them. Doesn't help me. I then, can smush if, him. I need your guys to come off the board. If you look, <laughs> if you hire me, only half of your guys come off. You should move here or here. Why? Because then I will move in there and attack him. Why wouldn't you do that anyways? You're getting four guys per turn. Because if I can use your dudes to help me, then I lose more guys. That doesn't make sense. I got to get rid of your roosts. <laughs> it's in your best interest to stop him. I'm the least threat, so I'm going to go and get rid of some of your roosts and let you take care of him. Do it. So, and if I do it here, then you could still move in and do that there. So, let's see it. I'm going to spend one. Thanks. Actually, hang on, give me that back. Yeah, that's right there. You can take it back. I was going to spend it with you. Um, I don't think you were because you were going to recruit them all. <laughs> so, I'm going to spend one, and I'm going to pop up a guy here. I'm gonna spend another one. Throwing pieces. It's chaos. I mean, I can do it. Yeah, I can do as many as I have buttons. Um, I'll kill up that roost after if you can't do it. So that's two. I would need to. I'll finish the job. I mean, that's all I need is two. And you can only score one. Like a third doesn't do anything for me, I think. Other than. Here, right, right. The third makes, one there doesn't do like anything. every dude you have in a, a spot where he has a lot of dudes makes it more appealing for me to go in there. I'm gonna commit one there. Sorry, for I'm what? Gonna, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend one more. To you again. Nailed it. Pop up. There. Ooh. I'm gonna commit here to move there. It's one commit to do one move. Okay. Yeah. And then got two left. So commit to battle there. One on one. One on one. Doesn't kill it. Does not kill it. Oh. You have a hand from two. Maybe the wrong one. otters have wings. Yeah. They're not welcome. Alright, so Alright, so now yeah, my best course of action now is to just Battle in this game again. Spot. You're defenseless, so you it's automatically it. going to kill you. So I don't even need to. Yeah. You can kill it. You get a point. I get a point. <laughs> Morse is just being bombarded by <laughs> pieces of this whole game. Um, and that's. That's your turn. That's my turn, except I still get two set prices. Bring so. some of that stuff down a little bit. Um, I can't do it now. I only got one. Yep. Um, but I really I need. Honestly, I need more to do it because I, you have too many guys on the board. So, Fine. to do what? I need you to go attack him. So I need you to use the river boats and then go attack him or come up there and attack him. So you have enough guys that if I spend them back to you, you could spend five. So I think I do that and leave hand card at one. Okay. And hope that you do the right thing. <laughs> so, uh, my turn, bird song, nope, gun, um, what, hand of, your hand of cards, not, not any good to me, I don't care about that. So, place one wood at each thing, is it just three? Just two. One, two, yes, only two of those. Um, mm. Okay, so one action is going to be to build, I'm going to build a sawmill. There, that cost me two wood, and I get two points. Um, another action is going to be um, 
a march, which is going to march from your recruitment. If you made your mercenaries, cheap. Um, I'm going to march <clears throat> three, four, five in there. And then I have another movement with the march, right? So I'm going to move um, I feel like these ones are kind of useless here, besides your riverboat business. The riverboat makes me nervous too. I don't want to move out of there because you can just buy riverboats and move in and fight me. Um, yeah, well, if you get rid of his rabbits, that's what that's what gets him into trouble. Rabbits, right? his rabbit clearings. Oh, that's true. Because he's invested everything in in rabbits. But he just has one rabbit, and he can keep popping up there with four cards, right? Yep. So it's that'd be really hard to do. You would need to move through there. I need to like move in, kill, move in, nope. kill. No. Oh, to, to get rid of both? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because if he has one, he can always recruit four things. Yeah. There. Yeah. So that that doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna leave the rest as is. I'm going to move. Morris likes that line of thought. Because it means if you can't kill him in one turn, you're never going to attack him. <laughs> Which means you're never going to attack him. I have actions that get me points by not attacking, right? So, um, right. So the move. The march was one action. The build was a second action. Third action is going to be to fight here. A battle. Two to zero. So I kill the two. And now this really pains me. I'd, a bird card to do it again. I, yeah. No, no, I did the build already, so this is fine. I'm going to spend the bird card, and I'm going to do it again here, and blow that up, and get victory point for that. And I get to draw two cards. Um, and I got my points for my thing before. Yeah. Cool. So I'll draw a card, and I'll have here. Johnny draw a card. Another fox. This is brutal. Apparently, you don't need fox cards. Right, so have you passed the, uh, you've decided not to buy services, right? I haven't gotten there yet. You haven't gotten there. So Birdsong. I still have to add a card to my decree. Oh, okay. Because it's at the beginning of Birdsong. The choosing my services is at the beginning of Birdsong, right? Right. Or is it any time in Birdsong? I can't remember. I don't know. It's your, it's your, uh... I'm not sure that it actually matters, because you don't do anything until... Yeah, it's sort of, it's yeah. irrelevant. I think as long as it's during your Birdsong, it's fine. Neither of you actually take actions during that time. Oh, did you have that out before? Or did you just build that? I just, just built, built it. it. Yep, that was this one. Hour and 48. And an hour teach, right? Yeah, it was like an hour. Was it an hour? Yeah. I don't know, that was slower than it should have been. Oh. Round up. Not that I'm interested in doing this, but for the people at home, what happens if I come down here and attack his stronghold? Can I do that? You can do that. And, and if you just, do that, he loses the field hospital. And it just goes off the board, yeah. and I get a point for the cardboard. You get a point for the cardboard, and then he just doesn't have his field hospital, which is very, nice. very bad. It's yeah, one base. be tough to get there. Well, not to get there. It'd be tough to get there and destroy it. So with moves, again, I just asked this, but it's one group of dudes 
between two spaces, so I would need two moves to move. Yes. Like that. Correct. And I could move, like, because I, if I put it on a move, I can move twice, where I could, I can move here and then back to do that, right? Like that counts for my moves. If I, like, if oh, I have two moves, yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as far as, as the move out and back, yeah, as long concerned. as you can yeah. control control the clearing both times, yeah. Yeah, it's from a matching from a matching yeah. clearing. So, okay, that is a clearing. I don't want to do anything twice. <laughs> some services. Um, I guess I'll just. Got, you don't want to buy riverboats and mercenaries? I'll move twice. Can move right into that juicy spot. You don't have any mercenaries there. I have one guy. What am I going to do with one guy? Not Kill that it. One. Yeah, you save an extra one of your guys. I guess. And it so. only costs you three <laughs> dudes. But he's going to get them back because I spend them. So it almost is free. Yeah, I don't really see a downside more. I mean, he is pretty far behind, but also maybe don't don't do that. <laughs> I think we're gonna stick with that. So uh, I'm not gonna buy anything. Okay. Um, river boats don't need them, dudes. You are in nowhere where I would want to attack someone, except maybe here, I guess. But could potentially do that. Um. It's basically free because they're not being used over there in your supply. I don't really want to attack though. All right, so uh, I'm good. Uh, so craft. I think I will craft. So I'll craft this for one victory point. You. Okay. And then resolve my decree. So recruit. Here the crafting cards get discarded into the regular discard pile. Oh, do they? Yeah. So I will recruit one, two. Um three for the random. And then Four. Um, then I will move twice. So I'm going to move, and then I will move. Question: uh, If like I have, we can have any number of guys in an, in a clearing. Like he could have ten of his birds in this spot, and you could have five guys, and none of us need to like leave. There's no retreating at right. the end or anything like yep. that. Okay. And whoever has the most control of it here. So if he doesn't score uh, battle here, two hits, there's only there's no spots to build unless you destroy that building, right? You're not wrong. So if he doesn't roll a two here, he's going to go into turn one. Well, you can't change it now. Why not? In the middle of rolling. Was it in the middle of rolling? You can't change it because I said something that you didn't notice. Come on. I did. Well, <laughs> I mean, I haven't resolved my turn. I think I could technically take it back. I guess you shouldn't have said anything. I guess you could, <laughs> but you were not going to change it if I didn't say that. It's all good. Two to one. <laughs> what was the concern? If, if he I didn't roll a two, one hit, he would have gone into turn build one. Because of why? Because he has to build because somewhere I... and he has nowhere else to build except yeah. that would have been the... So I get... He would have had no clearings that he ruled Victory point that had that. an empty space. That gets built. Oh, he has to build a... Okay, one of those. Yeah. So you can spend a fox card to put that in the field hospital. Deal. I will take three victory points. One, Definitely two, three. I will draw two cards. Please. Fox card, field hospital. Actually, do you want to do that and just recruit? Yeah, field hospital. Yeah, considering he's coming for you. That's my good <laughs> stuff over there, so. Then... Hmm. So I'm going to discard that. Dominance. Okay. All three, yeah. It's mice like spent for suits. So oh no, you're discarding it. Based on the wording, I guess that doesn't get become available. So 
So how do you like play a dominance card to actually do it? To actually do the dominance card? Yeah. If you have at least ten points, you yeah. yeah. Just, you, you just put, put it down, down. yeah. Because it's a permanent effect. But there's no crafting, right? You just say, "I'm doing this." Yeah. It's not an action or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Because um, I thought you were doing that, and I was like, "Wait, where's your mice? I see like that one, <laughs> and that's it." So I was like, "This is you're not doing this very well." Hey, um, but you are on the way to victory. Like, like two point two turns away, basically, if not stopped. Uh huh. Um, so it's my it's my turn. You're done, right? Yeah. 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 So, first thing that happens, I get two otters in the payment box. No dividends. Everything goes into the funds. So, um, make your mercenaries this? really cheap. Supposed to be off the board. And your river stuff really cheap, please. Um, instead, I'm going to keep them at. Higher costs and you can just not recruit and you can spend the money so that way I can. I only have one, one. I'm gonna spend them. Okay. I'm gonna spend that. Pop up a guy on a river space. Um, I, I need both river and mercenary to do anything. And I can't afford them both at this current prices. Just so you know. I'm gonna spend another one. Another guy up here. Let's spend another one. Yeah, we're talking that. We got here. Uh, let's see what else. And you can fight him. That'd be cool. Fight him. Like three more. I could, I won't clear it unless you come in and help after. I would help after to clear it because he's going to win if we don't. So I'm definitely and clearing he, this if you. He will do go it. into turmoil. It's probably the best bet is to discard. Well, I discard it to pop up, so I'm just going to do that. Um, and. Put this business out. He'll go into turmoil and we can actually maybe win the game. Correct. Oh, um, yeah. So I can do that and then I can commit, commit a fund to battle. So battle there. Battle in here. Yep. Two and one. So you have the ability now to potentially get rid of them there. Yeah. Uh, Pretty. One. I need to hit three. All right. And then I'm gonna go up here. Okay. Do you do another commit? Ah uh, yes. Okay. Three to one. So lose one. This is all three. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. And there's plenty of mercenaries out there. You need river boats, so you've got four. I'm gonna put it on two and two, so you Fine. can sure. so you can spend it all. I can do it all. Um, and then I will put this at two, just in case. Do you get any points that round for anything? How do you get points again? Um, I did not get any points that round. Um, from moving cardboard. Uh, building trading posts and having funds in my funds box at the beginning of my, my moving cardboard. Removing, removing, removing cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't roll well enough to on this one to do. Got that. it. Right, right. Okay, so actually I couldn't know. I am gonna do both. I'm gonna pay you for both of these. Um, and and, and when you have funds in your box at the beginning, is it one per point per? It's two, one. Oh, per one per two. two. Right. Yeah, dividends. It's not a lot until maybe potentially later in the yeah, game. If you have a bunch. So I have both. I'm, I'm paying for the riverboats and the mercenaries. And hopefully we're playing this right. If anybody watching, uh, and we've four people viewing now, but um, if anybody watching now or after the fact notices any rules and mistakes, let us know. It has been a long day, a of, long games. day of games, which yeah. has been a lot of fun, but we One, are probably pretty error prone at this two. point. So. Um, is it just two? Else? It. You killed the other one? You can look at your board to see how many you have. I see that. Thank you for the wonderful help. Um, so then, craft using workshops. Nah. Um, well, is that a thing I care about? Maybe. Uh, where is where are my workshops? I have. Do I have that now? Where's my other workshop? No. Okay. I'm not quite sure how to. I know how to actually score points. I don't just don't know how to do it, you know, I don't know how to play as the otters right, effectively. Um, I mean, obviously trading posts get me points, but 
I guess maybe I'm not positioning myself well enough for you guys to want to hire I mean, me. But for me, like I keep saying, he needs need cards. To, right? need he wants bird these. cards. If you've yeah. got bird cards up here, I would pay but you then, three. But again. then he has like three a turn to get just him. perfect board that can never go wrong, right? So I'm going to do a march as my first action of three. I'm going to march all of these into here for one. I do like the boat ride. It's pretty sweet. All these into here for two. And then I'm going to, um, that's first action, second action to fight here. Um, so I don't roll. Oh, that's right. Oh, I can fight you, I guess, but. You wouldn't, though, because you want to get rid of his roots. my card Oh, wins. you have to pick one person or the other. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Definitely doing that. So that's a point for me. Um, uh, that's second action, third action to fight here, and hopefully I roll a three. Or I have a bird card in your hand <laughs> to be able to do, do it again. again. <laughs> two to one, two to, two, two to zero, I'm sorry. So your mercenaries are doing nothing for me. And if you have a bird card, you auto kill him. Yes, I have a bird card. So I kill him, see. that goes away. Um, so this is if, if you spend it for its suit. So I think that means that this is available because you, you used yeah. it as a bird card. It's yes. discard a bird card. Yes. Oh, or spend a bird I'm, card. I'm sorry. Um, Wow. Probably still worth it because he's going to lose five points. He, oh, he loses points? Yeah, if I, he goes into I, turmoil? The, only, like, the worst thing that happens is I lose five points and this gets reset. The worst thing. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm still, if I lose five points, we're still tied. <laughs> and, I, and none of my other roosts come off the board. Your engine's gone. You don't recruit as much. I'm still, still up there. Um, it and the funny thing too, when that happens, now you need to attack him. <laughs> I will not do that. Actually, I'm put the, put it back here. Oh, yeah. Wow, not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave a small foothold. Doesn't feel great, but okay. I am going to. Oh, man, you are really strong. He's gonna kick you out. Yeah, of the corner fine. Anyways. All right. I wanted to go for this win condition. I know, I, and I realized I that didn't, when you discarded it. When I it, discarded but... it, I forgot what it was. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, a bird card," and then I was like, "Oh, well, that's how I wanted to win." Because look at this. I have this, and then I could have maybe gotten. But you can just produce guys and print them and move them in. And Johnny could probably just move five so guys. So this becomes available. Here. I wonder if that means that um, can you later on get that? I can well, take can it back. You get it back. Yeah, you can take it back. Right, so this is gone. I do get the points from it. Because yeah, uh -huh. otherwise you'd need a way to track who had discarded it. And there's did you actually so. take it down when you when I put it back on the board, or did you just give yourself an extra point? I don't remember. I don't remember if I ever moved it up before. Did I? I you don't think I don't. Up. I'm not sure if you did. I don't think you did. But I'm, did you did you move it when you got rid of the first one? I don't remember. I did the first one. Yeah, you definitely did. The first I don't one remember the second. I, I got. I discarded the card, and I think that's about all I did. Hmm. I discarded it. I threw it to you. I don't think I got the point, honestly. But yeah, I mean, I whatever. Let's yeah. let's not waste the time sure. looking back. If you if you got the point twice, it is what it okay. is. We'll just put an asterisk. The stream we can confirm later. Yeah, we, we can confirm later. Yeah. Do you want to finish your turn so I can blow up over here? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's all my actions, including the over. Sorry, the extra bird card to do the second fight, um, and then I will draw two cards. One, two. My biggest problem is I'm trying to keep you two in check, but I'm falling so far behind. I don't know that it matters for me. Yeah, you, you need like, to figure out how to get points. I don't know if the like otters you, don't seem to have like a spiral. Uh, so with these things available. A snowball effect like you guys. How do you, your turn done? Yes, it is. How do you I get draw a card? Uh, do I just declare it? I got it. I'm not sure. This one? I don't have to discard my hand or anything done, right? So, I will. What are you? What are you charging for cards? It right says now? when you discard to discard or spend two it. for the bird ambush is bomb. Is that what I just drew? Yeah, that's what I've made you draw. All right. Um. So add one or more cards to your decree. Only one would be a. Oh, spending a card. During matching daylight, suit. you discard a matching card and take it. Yep. Anyone. And and it is so, discard or so this is discarded and it is available. Oh, okay, you check that one. Yes. It it says specifically it says on the card when you make available like when you play for a thing, make available. Yeah. But then in here it also says 
when you discard or spend a dominus card, oh, okay. first two, do not discard it. Yeah. Make it available. All right. I thought it was any time it discarded, but... Yeah. All right. So I'm going to add one card to my decree. I'm going to add a mouse there. Um, we don't want to add a bird. Going into daylight, I could craft... I choose not to. So I resolve my decree. So I believe the way it works is I do things until I can't, and the second I can't do something, I blow up. Like I don't get to like right. do. I don't yeah. get to come down here if I can't. Right, and you can do this. it in any order. So right. you could do like the mouse so and the bird. I'm gonna do yeah, exactly this mouse and the bird, and then kablooey, and then I blow up because I can't yep. put. I yep. can't recruit in. Anything. So first thing you'll do is lose points. For, you'll Get rid of everything, lose lose points for um, five bird cards. So five. So, so that's the first thing that happens. Down to here. Then you get rid of your leader. Discard decree. Like you, oh, well, you purge decree. I think it's technically discarded. Yep, everything except your viziers gets discarded. Then you depose your leader and choose a new one. And then you'll place your viziers into their new spots. And then your turn will end, and you'll still you'll score points though. Still, so I'm definitely gonna go with recruit charismatic battle. now. So I do recruit and battle, and then skip uh, immediately end daylight. Go to evening. Yep. So evening. I still still score one victory point. Just one, okay. And I draw one card. Discard down to five. Right. You turn. You turn. So yep. discard easy. that. And get a little punchy. It's dangerous. Uh, so everything is up here. And that. Can you discard those two for me? Yep. So the dominance one becomes available. That was a dangerous one to play, considering uh, Eric's position on the board. You do you realize that? <laughs> you do realize that you just. Discarded one that Eric can basically fulfill. It doesn't go there. I didn't play it for the suit. It, no, it does. You just, just clarified it. It says when oh, you so discard it discard or it. when you play it for suit. So, since, since you didn't you know that, if you it. want to change your mind. I mean, I could still do it. You could. You need to keep him from doing that. <laughs> nice. I can't. Get, I can't destroy him in the any man of can't do games. everything. He's an attack here. <laughs> I could, but I need to stop him from controlling it at the beginning of his turn after he takes it. And you're not recruiting much, so you can't really help. So I don't see a way that you play that card and know that Eric's not going to win with it. You can try it. Convinced. <laughs> I mean, you're not guaranteed to win it, but you're in a strong position to win that. Uh, I mean, he already he owns four of them, right. and he's tied here. He owns he owns three, so actually. Oh, yeah, he already owns three. Oh, there's more than three on the board. For some reason, I was thinking there was only three. Yeah. So yeah, so you're in a really good position to do it. Yeah, you just recruit them. I mean, he can't. Win. Well, I guess he could. So. So these are these ones are on display. Those are Johnny's hand, by the way. I have to discard that then. Okay. Big sale. Alright, so everything moved into my funds. I don't score dividends. <laughs> so I can recruit. Status tree posts, I think. Nobody's gonna use my root votes. I don't think. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Setting some prices. This is the end of your turn now? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to leave everybody in my funds. So you'll get one, two, three, four points from that. Yeah. In the beginning of your next turn? Mm hmm So I need to... I don't think it really matters, but okay. I'm just start to try to score some points. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that. And 
Um, Move that. I set my services. Uh, okay, my turn. I know Morris really needs to kick your butt, so I'm hoping Place that he's... one wood for each thing. Shmoo, you are aggressively kind. Cats <laughs> rubbing up on me real, real strong. So you've um, got two to buy cards, one to riverboat, four to recruit to use your mercenaries. Four mercenaries, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to... It's interesting, though, like, that you can't say no to me. Like, if I wanted to use your mercenaries, I I mean, not that I could use them for them anything this turn anyway, but you can't say no. Right. It's interesting. I you can just set your price really high, which you effectively say no right now. Right. Okay. Um, craft using workshops. Yeah. Um, where are my tools? Could you have it there? On your turn, and you could have gotten that off the board. And... Yeah. Yeah, I could have. He doesn't have I don't have anything to recruit, recruit so it doesn't matter. It's, it's a point for you, then. Either. It is a point, but... Um, yeah. So it's fox and bunny. Okay. Um. Great. So, first action is going to be to march. March. <laughs> really locking those fox clearings down. <laughs> um. Oh, in the corners. That's right. Corners. Which actually, March. we shouldn't know that. Although it's pretty obvious. That was one. I mean, those are weird moves for... <laughs> I'm not sure, I, well, sure why we, you need 15 cats over there, but... <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so that was one action, march. Second action, march again. That and that. Um, third action, march again. One, two, and um, I'm going to take the dominance card for the corners. Uh, and then. So this gets removed from the board. Yep. This goes here. I have more than 10 points, so I can do this. Yep. Um, and I cannot, I'm good. If I see that card. This one? Yeah. yeah. So at the start of my daylight phase or whatever, my bird song, if I get it, if we get around again and I still control those two, then I win the game. Yep. Okay. Well, so I'll draw a card, I'm put it in front of and I'll have you draw a card. Yeah, I hope that made it hard. I think mm. it did. <laughs> yeah, I'm just drawing fox cards the whole time. And then... What happens if... Oh, no. The good thing is, if, even if you don't need my services, if you buy my services, I have a lot more actions to potentially help stop Eric. And the only way... Essentially, I could maybe take out three here. Um, you need to come in and take out. If you just, if if I, essentially, because I win ties, you mm -hmm. need to get him lower than I have in this. Right. So because you're not recruiting much, you probably want to spend the maximum amount of money with me so I can do a lot of things to go kill him. You know what I mean? Yeah, because he's no longer going for victory points. Right. So, so I need to have enough guys in here to... to Recruit guys and then move them and then battle multiple times. Right. This there's just so much meowing happening here. Yeah. Like if you're in this place, it's well, just the thousand yeah. meows. Well, see, that one's not even. It's a even, cacophony of. Meows. Why even bother with that one? Yeah, right. Yeah. That one's like not well. Yes. That well defended against two people. So, how many? I mean, like I, I just don't understand how your character works. Like, how many? You could, if because you need to be able to attack enough times to right. rule this. So the thing is, is that um, I can recruit on river spaces by spending these back to the owner. So I give you a bird back. You get, he gets I get a guy on any of the river spaces. Then I can commit funds to move them. 
My question is, can you deal how with many? this by yourself? He wants to know how many. Uh, if, I, if I give you... It's unlikely if, if you, I give you funds. If you give me funds, I still think that you need to probably move into there if you can and attack him. At least the one time, you know? So I might got... be able to get rid of him, but it's he still has a lot of guys there. And I could roll ones. The dice, they may say yeah. Eric wins. So, I think you need to <laughs> probably do both. Attack, cat, cat tactics. <laughs> What's the, uh... No, oh, the mission is X bug tactics. What? The hive mind or whatever. Oh, the hive, yeah. The... I don't know the... Good jokes, everybody. Mission is X. Listen to it, it's really good. It's funny, it's a podcast. We check it out, ZYXX. <laughs> Free advertising. I, I love it. it really those good. guys do great, great work. It's really funny stuff. It's an improv yeah. sci-fi podcast. Um, they, they really do. I can't believe it's all improv. I mean, that's yeah. crazy. I know it's edited, but it's still. All right. How are you going to not, not quite succeed at, at beating him? Come on. So give me, give me six guys. I'm going to give them back to you anyways. Why would I? I'm not giving you. Like I can go in and take stuff down. How do you? And like you can get guys on the board. I can't get guys on the board. Move and attack with just this because I have. What to... do you need? What do you actually need to do that? Well, I have I'm not going to give you like an I have... unknown amount of. Yeah. Games. So I have five guys that I can recruit, right? So you're going to get them back first of all. So he wants you to give you three guys. At least, which gets him three more no, no, hours. Because no. if I have... Okay, so let's say I spend... He physically wants to know for, how many things to get. I know, so let, let me just okay. explain to you. Yeah. If you. Let's say you didn't give me any. I would spend five to get these. Eric would get those back and be able to recruit, right? And then I only have three things to move and battle. Each one of these costs is to move them out. So I think you should give me the maximum you can because I'm going to give five of them back to you just to recruit these guys. And then I'm going to spend the rest of them moving and attacking Eric. I, I would happily give you exactly as many as you need, but I'm not going to give you the next But I don't know because the dice. I might have to attack them multiple times because of bad dice rolls, so I can't give you an exact. Well, what do you spend to attack? It work? costs one guy every time I attack. It has nothing to do with who So moves actually, right, he's limited. He can only do one thing. He can only yeah, I can purchase only do one thing anyway. He can do this. Oh, so so four. then four. <clears throat> because he doesn't have a trading post right. that he's pressing yeah, down. So, so four then. I forgot about the fact that you couldn't do all three of them. So that's for mercenaries. Yep. The payments. So that also means it doesn't have to be for mercenaries because you can't really use mercenaries. That's true. But they they oh, count. Oh, it, has, it, it, has, has it does to have to because if you give me four, it has to be. They yes. count towards my ruling of a clearing, right? Do they? Oh, actually, uh, that would be in the new rulebook. That's a good question. I think they just count as your guys in battle. I think that's the only thing they do. Uh, um, but there's an example in there of exactly that. So. I need, I need is it just for the birds? Wait, what do you get for Flying ruling a clearing at the end? Uh, so they, do, they do let you rule, yes. What? Do you, what? I rule all of these clearings now. Yes. For what? Huh? Like if for, you, if for, you, for, for building what? roosts? Reasons. There's a whole bunch of reasons. For building rules. Yeah. yeah, he's going to play two cards in his, in his build. That's track. a good rule to reveal oh. at the last stage of the game, by the way. No? Anybody? Well, that rule... <laughs> Got revealed after I made my gambit at the very end of the game. I'm just gonna say that. So, asterisk. I don't know. I, I don't know if I shot it or not. You did. Well, if if it okay. if it affects the outcome, like if that directly causes you to lose, then. Uh, I mean, we'll see. Sure, can we place, can put an He can only spot. place two roosts. It's not gonna cause him to win. Especially because if he does that, that means he can't attack you, which means it's less likely that right. I get you out. Do two more. So actually, if he does it, you're more likely to win. It's a very long turn. Well, you have mm -hmm, you have mm -hmm. affected you yeah. have caused this. Go problem. fast, make mistakes. We now have a puzzle to solve. <laughs> Go make mistakes. It's no longer a war game. You made us. You gave us a puzzle. I agree, there. We should we should wrap it up. Think faster. Well, we had it, the, it was long because of the negotiation that had to happen. Know, if you yeah. could just have given me an answer, it wouldn't have been this long. Well, there's dice uh, that make it impossible. So to I rule five clearings right now. Is that right? Um. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. All right. You know what's 
but you will not at the beginning of your next turn unless you buy mercenary stuff. That's really interesting. So if you had a dominance card, this ha you buy services yeah, in count? Birdsong, I think they, it would. They go away then, and then at the right, beginning so. of your turn you can buy them. But I, what comes first? What do you mean they go away? You're, but you're, you're, you buy them in Birdsong, so you're still in Birdsong. And it just, oh, does it say at the beginning? At the beginning of. At the start of your word song. Oh, okay. And then, so then, yeah. Which is also like when you buy these, right? Yeah. I, I think it says at the start it would be before anything you can do. So. Yeah, so this checks first before. So you right. can't use those to yeah. do dominance. Right. That would have been busted. Crazy. It'd be a way to like kind of sneakily do it. Yeah, I guess. I mean, maybe it. we're wrong about that, chat, if, if anybody knows. Uh, I think that I don't think right. anybody in the chat has played this game <laughs> at this point. I don't know who's in there, but I feel like it's mostly like our friends. Yeah, probably. Um, okay. It's going to be problematic. Oh, because you're going to go into turmoil again next turn. Well, no, like, I I rule, like, is there some way I can use the rule into my favor? But it's risky, because then I can't, it doesn't matter. So, uh, I played this for move. We're just going to stick with that. Um, so that's that. Add one card. Uh, craft. So I can craft using roosts, so this is irrelevant anyway. Yeah, either one mouse or one... All right. Uh, do I... Right, so I'm going to craft this, because it's a mouse, so I get a yeah. victory point. And then I will resolve my decree. So I'm going to recruit. I recruit two because it... of my... Yeah. Here. Whenever I've played as the um, Vagabond, which has been twice, um, nobody crafts. In this game, you guys have crafted so many items. Well, oh, it was, you actually have no. to take the items when you... Yeah, I've we've, crafted we've been like nothing. I've have, never crafted. have you been taking the items when yeah. you craft them? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they are limited. Because uh, my other dude gave me the victory points, so it's like alternate source of victory points for mm -hmm. me. So I'm going you get your to for crafting there? move. I, did you get your points for crafting that? Yes. Okay. And then battle. Um, I'm gonna ambush you first and kill two of your guys. Uh, um, with this one, will you? Mm. What does that actually do? It'll kill two, it of, your two of your guys. Defender. Uh, I know you have a bird ambush card because you said it when you so drew I'll it. Can't <laughs> counter that. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do it again and do and so kill two of your guys. One and zero. Oh, it didn't matter. Did not matter. So you could discard a. Um, I can discard a card and put it back there. Yes, you can now. So it has to be a, a fox, bunny. a bunny. bunny. Okay. All right. So I score victory points. I score one. I draw one card. Cards. I don't think I drew my cards at the end of last turn, but oh. Yeah. It was an hour ago. So <laughs> I would definitely say oh well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All when right. you take an hour between turns, I can't remember things, so that's a good yeah. strategy. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, let's rewind, let's rewind the stream and find out. Yeah. Can... All right, so your turn's over then. Did you get your points for your roosts? I did. You did. Okay. Um, so first thing I do, protectionism doesn't happen. I do score dividends now. So one, two, three, four points. Now I'm okay. really in the running. And then I move everything into funds, as promised. Five. Mm. Five guys. Um. So let's see. So I know you can't protect them. So I need to kill three guys. If he has any more. I can't believe you had both, or you had one, you had the bird, the other bird and the bird. I don't think he does because he had the option to discard a rabbit or a, or a bird card to save his guy, and he didn't. Rabbit or a bird? And birds are wild, right? I thought it was just, you just said it was just rabbits. Matching the clearing. So, matching, always Okay, wild. well I didn't know that. You, you've always said bunny card. 
Not that I didn't have well, one. Yeah, okay. I don't have one, but yeah. you've never. I mean, mentioned I've said that multiple role. times that birds are I wild. Okay, I didn't know that pursuits. the entire game. Okay. For the for the purpose of my field hospital. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Do it. Um, so let the dice decide. So I commit. How many? One to move. I commit another <clears throat> to battle. Three to two. And I'm no longer ruling, right? You're tied. So I'm no longer ruling. Uh, correct. So I don't win the game. You've, um, you've you've done it. I am going to spend. Pop up here. Um, so I'm going to keep that because I'm going to do that again. Um, I'm going to commit another one to battle there again. Three to one. I can see. Don't do that. I mean, how do you bow out now at this point? Like, because so um, let's just go fast. And I'm gonna... I mean, you still have recruiters. Yeah. You just need to get in here. Plus, you could buy his if you buy his mercenary. Well, it's that's not going to happen. For that. I, that was when it was going to happen. If it's going to happen, it won't happen. So I'm going to do another. I, so. I had two ambush cards and six guys. There, it's never going to. I think you have again. plenty of opportunity to get back in there. Just, just three. All you need to do is get back in there and kill us. So and that one. thing's gone now. So one, two. Doesn't matter. It, it can't happen. I'm going to commit one more to move these guys over here and commit final one to battle there. Three to two, so just three. Um, actually, you choose, because they're not all coming off. So three uh, of those go away. Yeah. One of them? Hmm? Which ones are coming off? All three of them. Three, three out of things. Four. That gets me one, two points. That's it. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, and then I set my prices. I'm going to keep mercenaries out there. Um, go two for boats and two for cards. Okay. So I. That's going to cost me. So I produce wood at this place, and that's it. Then I build a recruiter. Um, can I build it there? Even if I don't control it? Um, no. You have to uh, build it. You have to, yeah, you have to be able to bring the wood through an unbroken path of right. controlled clearance. So you could build here. I could build there. That's this is not good. I won't be able to amass the proper amount of forces. And I can't replace a building. Mm -mm. Whatever. I do that. I get no victory points because that doesn't matter. Um, that's one action. It takes the two wood. Rewood. Um, Three points as well. Oh, no, no, no points. Um, so then I recruit, which goes one, two, three, four, and then I recruit again. One, two, three, um, and then I um, there's build, recruit, recruit. Great, done. All right. Draw cards. Same for yeah. him. For him? Oh yes, and I draw oh, two right, cards. Yes. I, can I will draw one cards. and put one in here. Yeah. If you need a mouse. Alright. Uh, add one or more cards to your decree. Um, I would love to build. And I would also love to recruit. Um, craft. Uh, I don't. I do. I don't have a roost there. Okay. Um, so resolve decree. So recruit two and a fox. Recruit um, two more in anywhere. Uh, I will move. So I'm going to move. Actually, I want to put two here instead. Uh, I will move here, here, here. I will battle here. One, two, 
one and zero. Right. And then I will build anywhere. I will build here, I think, because it's better defended. Um, two points. Two points, two cards. Your turn, Johnny. You're at five, right? Yep. All right. Um, so I've got two. fast enough for you? Two impediments. It was it's like on average. Closer. It's probably five. Yeah, like Everything one minute or two there. minutes for that turn, 30 yeah. minutes for the last you turn. Maybe initiated. You <laughs> maybe initiated. Average is 20 the of minutes the game. a turn. So, like, I mean, if you had been able to. I know. Matter, I'm just being salty. salty. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to spend two funds to Clearing's Ruler in order to put a trading post. Trading post. So that'll be. Box. Um, I'm actually going to do it again. And that's two points. I'm going to do it again for another fox here. Um, so that's four points. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to use uh, two foxes and a mouse to craft this card and this card. For I one, also obviously two, need all three, four. <laughs> Okay, and then I've got one left, and... Chinese getting a bunch of points all of a sudden. Yep. Yeah, I'm um, aware of that. What can I do with that? Happy yeah, with that. Thank you. If you would like. Would like. <laughs> so many guys there. What about it? I don't know. It's just funny. Um... Is there anywhere I can easily attack something? Not really. Uh, I guess I'll go battle there. Can I uh, have the dice, please? Three to one. Oh, no. Great, three, and point. My turn. Or no? Yeah. Uh, I get to set my prices. Um, I don't think anybody's going to be hiring me. <laughs> so I might as well if Morris needs a card or anybody wants to move. Jack and other prices. My turn. Bird's on. Get wood on that sawmill. Um, daylight. I get to take three actions, or I can craft some stuff, which is pointless, unless I want to actually like have a. Yeah. Yeah. So let's um, recruit. So one, two, two, three. That's one action. Recruit again. One, two. Three. So two actions. And then I get um, uh, a march action. We'll go uh, one, two, uh, and then a discard this card for a second march action. We'll go. One, two. Wow, that actually was fairly quickly able to be rebuilt. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I'm expect that. all done. Your turn. All right, I'll draw. Do you want to draw cards? Uh, yeah, draw two cards. I will also draw one for me and one for, for you. Me. Okay. Um, what are more cards to my decree? You going to buy some services? Um, you have nothing anywhere that I would need. No. <laughs> but uh, So this thing too, obviously, is still here. No, but it helps me help that. Um, I believe you might not need my help. Is that cool or not? So... We will so move from... Yeah. 
Games.com customer responder. So let's, I guess, battle in a bunny. And we can. Dedicated viewers. <laughs> right. We still have four. It's eleven thirty-seven. We got four of them. I think Craft. Morse is probably one of them. Maybe Adam. Craft. You guys are great. I guess I'll craft another sack. Just for a point. Just crap sack crafting. Crafting sacks. Can you remove the sack from the board for me? Yep. Resolve my decree. Did you get your point? Or did yeah, you, I already did. You did. It. Okay. Uh, one there. Did you get rid of the? Tile? No, that's what I said. Oh, I thought you meant the side. card. Okay. And then, um, is it? I guess I'll do this. Was it this I, sack? I did one last turn. Okay. Or something. And then one. So there's. Which sack? Eight. So I'll move. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then I will battle in a bunny clearing. So I'll battle here. <clears throat> Roll double zero. Twos. Two to two. So, That's go. good. Rolling even is good. That's and all I need. We'll battle in a bunny clearing. And low even. That's risky. Oh no, it's not because the attacker gets high. three and two. So you were yeah, you took it away from me again. That's what I'm talking about. But well, I, I, if we tie, I get it anyway. So if we tie again, right? I, I forgot oh, you always get the higher. So I was like, what if he rolls higher than you? But that can't yeah. happen. So yeah. So I did that. No, no, no. But but he he ties dominant. If we had equal, yes, he would have right. He controlled it. Yeah, the beginning. Already. I built successfully, so I will take uh, yeah three victory points, one, two, three, and two cards, and I will discard. I feel like hmm. throwing out a dominance is risky. It is risky. I threw all my stuff at the wall and see if it was going to stick. Does this get reshuffled at any point? Yes, if it runs out. Oh, I forgot to discard down. Um, I'm supposed to discard a card down. Oh, okay. I'm going to discard that. Huh, let's see. Are you done? Yeah. All right. Payments. Discarding is done. Uh, I don't score dividends. And then I move everything into funds. I would have liked this. This would have been really nice. <laughs> of course, you got to craft it. It's three. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like you have to. It removes mouse clearing pieces, but you also have to own a bunch of mouse clearings. Like. Yeah. You can't like do a things. global wipe because yeah, it's like you can, but it's hard. I'm gonna spend two to myself to build a trading post there for two points. No, I don't have enough to win the game. Um, do that and get two more. Let's see. Okay. This game is so good. Yes. It's a good one. Um, so I could get one there. Two, three. Don't map that out too hard, man. No, I'm actually trying to see if there's a way I can win right now. So, I can do one, kick your guy out there. Why don't you try? Just try. Um, do one to move here. That kicks you out for another one. Um, Just start and... doing it to see if you end up winning. That's That'll be the fastest way to find out. And if you don't, you lose, and we... Hooray! Alright, so I'm gonna kick you out there. There's no attack. That's a point. That's there. That's a point. Gotcha. Um, I 
I'm gonna do one, actually I'm gonna spend one to pop the guy in a river space. Just slam it down. And I'm gonna spend two to build trade post two points. I'm done. And done. Um, Very close. Next turn. Yeah, it's so um it is very close. <laughs> so apparently there's ways to score points as the otters. <laughs> I think you figured it out. <laughs> the second half of the game. <laughs> yeah. It was once so, Eric moved everybody away, I could build so trading posts. I got a right. wood. Um if I recruit I get two guys and they're on the opposite side of the map. So we're gonna march. One, two. Um, <clears throat> we're going to recruit. Is it right? No. One, two. I'm going to march in these four. So this is a march, one, two, and then I'm going to discard a bird card to go three, four. These are all over there. So I know that you are trying to win. Yes. Yeah, but if you don't do something about him, if there's anything we can do, he's going to win. I'm, not, so it's I'm honestly not I'm sure there is anything. Because killing my guys... Uh, even destroying trading posts doesn't lose points for me, and it only takes guys out of my funds box. There's nothing I can do about it. I can yeah. just try. And I think win. you have to either win before I win, or or I win. Right. He, I, I, he I don't think you can stop me. Can get two things that'll pop up here, and then he's got three things to like spend this turn. But yeah. I don't know. I think that you spend dudes this is to it. score. Your also, um, Morris, posts. I I love playing games, and but I've been playing games <laughs> all day, and I'm begging for mercy at this point for this game because I I think I don't win. And I thought that for the last hour, right. so let's finish it. <laughs> so don't try and convince me to prolong the game, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I guess so. You just have to figure out if you can score seven points right now. Winning, winning in most of these games means very little money. Is that the end of your turn? Worse, haven't you won enough games today? Um, yeah, I draw, I draw a card. Is it my turn? After it is two, your turn. Through two uh, years, this is going to get shuffled. Yeah. Does that also get shuffled? Nope, that's my card. Your card. It, so your card away. on display up here? Nope, it's my card that I've played. Oh, oh it's code breakers. I haven't Once been using it. Like, but... may look at another... Oh, why did you do that? I don't know why I haven't been using it. But... I so... built it because I was attacking oh, more, so I, I um, see if he had... I want to draw cards. Once you do that. One for me and one for you? Yeah. Oh, that's for him, right? Because I saw put it. it out. It, yeah, 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 I saw oh, it. That's okay. what I'm saying. So I'll do this. I still have color anyway. So yeah. I'm going to. That's our food. So I'll do that. You want to uh, buy any services? What would I buy? Can you get two points this turn? <laughs> you can get one <laughs> point there. Um, bushes up there, right? You can move quickly along so, the river. Um, and then if you can move and destroy, so then you win. 50. So I added one here. I could add another. Um, that's going to take six. <clears throat> I feel like I need to move move from I'll move from a bunny just to move this forward. Uh, so that's good. Uh, craft. I'm going to craft this guy, which is the royal claim, um, which is uh, in bird song. May discard to score one point per clearing you rule. Um, so that's two, three. Or well, no, maybe mm -hmm. four. No. So in birds, you can get three. Right. One, two, three. Right, so. And he's hoping to get Oh, and it's three. next turn because it's in bird song. Bird yeah. song Got yeah. Got so I'm going to recruit four here, two for the wild, one Is for the Is that at the bunny. beginning of bird song? In bird song. Oh, so you could mercenary 
Yeah. And score points for all That's of why I was asking. That's crazy. No, no, no. At the beginning. That one doesn't say at the beginning. It, it says during the Oh, then yes. You That's can. crazy. Uh, yeah. And I'll recruit two here. Um, then I will also. But if you recruit them all right now, you can't do it. But whatever. You're going to win if it gets to you. Right. If he doesn't have guys, yeah. You're going to win. So you, you can kick me out if you want, but eight, Giants going to win this turn. Eight. Yeah, it's a conundrum for him because he can't. If he stops me, I'm up four then he, there. if he stops me, then you win. I actually want to have recruited two here. I'm just gonna move them there for one move. Oh, to get the move down. And then I will move here for another move. Is there an empty building there? There's yes. Yeah, yep. There's so move, move, battle, uh, battle and a bunny. Any ambushes? Is that there or here? Here. Okay. No ambushes. One. <laughs> so I will battle and dice a, saying battle bunny. <laughs> Three and two. I'm still rolling. Um, build. I'll build here. By two, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but you'll get two uh, points. I will I also... Oh, yeah. I already craft... I can only craft once, right? Can I craft twice? Um, well, you I crafted craft, but this. You craft before you resolve your decree, so it doesn't matter anyways. Kind of too late. Sure, whatever. Well, but... Well, because you can't craft with a roost you just built. That's the whole point, you know? I, I don't want to. But if I, I spend this you, here, yeah, so I can't, can't spend, spend it again, again anyway, yeah, yeah. then it's relevant. So I get uh, four points. One, two, three, four. I mean, it, it could have been relevant because I... Yeah. Uh, then I'll take two cards. All right, so it doesn't matter because... Because you get two points. I'm going to win. So everything goes into my funds. Um, I only need two points, so the surefire way of doing it is to... Oh, yeah, I control that. So I spend two. Trading post. Very anticlimactic. There you go. Trading post. I own. put up a sign. <laughs> so I win. So, so what I could have done instead of doing this, I guess he would have won on his turn. Yeah. I could have tried to control those to you, keep them from, it was, keep from doing it. It was tough because you, unless you could score 30 points, you were just choosing who's going to win. Right. Right. And you, I don't think you could have stopped me anyways because I had other places I could have built and moved. So... I had a fox ambush over here. I was waiting to if drop. I could have gotten this out. Oh, here one turn ago. No, if anyone tried oh, to come over oh, here, yeah. if I could have gotten this out one turn ago, I would have won. Especially if you could have bought mercenaries. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. So spreading uh, out for me is pretty risk. I mean, I need to do it, but it's I don't it's know risky if, if for that card. So my for problem, I yeah. had to deal with this because of him and his victory condition. If I had just been able to go, I just I only had three roosts. I just needed to go get one more roost somewhere one turn earlier, and I could have probably won. Could yeah. you not have completely ignored me and gone and done that? You would have oh, won. Oh, you need though. birdsong. You, you need won. birdsong next turn. I would have had to, it would have to yeah. go around one more time. Yeah, this. Um... This is it's really this is really interesting because it's so flexible for um, like early in the game you guys like didn't need it but you basically had to give me all those worries to stop Herrick and I was so I was like back here so you didn't really I don't think that any of us right. saw Looking that yeah, sure. for a while. yeah because then you I gave you what four four and you gave me five back yeah. so because I was thinking once I did that and then you made all those moves to get points I was like crap I like just yeah. helped him get I mean points. it was the only way to stop Eric also it was but more. I think it was more him leaving all these. He just left points for you to yeah. take. I rolled well, uh, too, though, right? Yeah. Like, I practiced before the game, so I could roll threes. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. So, I mean, if I hadn't rolled that well, I wouldn't have been able to have extra actions to come back here and start killing his, yeah. his things, which got me a lot of points. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there's a, a, there's a... Horse garbage is there, what it is. There's a luck factor definitely <laughs> there, but... Yeah. That's um, no, a good game. It's right, yeah. actually come down to... Um, this is the second time I've played, and it's the second game where it was... If you don't win, I'm winning on right. my next action. I would have, I would have won after All you. All three of us yeah. were right there. It yeah. was you win, me win, you win. And it just came down to turn order. Yeah, yeah. when, when like, you and Marlene and I played, it was I actually had the same victory yep, condition the, the as Eric. had corners. the same dominance yeah. card. And Marlena came in. They both came in to attack me. Eric weakened me, and then Marlena came in, and there was like a 25% right. chance that she was going to kill me. Right. And she did. Right. I think, like, <laughs> how, however many turns ago, if I'd just been able to retain one more roost... I would have won. Yeah, because when you have four points a turn, yeah. that's tough. Yep. Like this is yeah, and I went back five, so I'm I'm actually like I I, I, I think scored being points way back this, here this turn, this really benefited me because you guys just you both had to keep 
recruiting me to help you stop the other one. Yeah. And then it was like, all of a sudden there was this yeah. moment where it was, the board was empty because you both killed each yeah. other. I wonder, I do wonder if we overpaid you for some of that stuff. Like if we, we gave you too much opportunity. There was one turn ahead. where I did like three for <laughs> like a mercenary and didn't mercenary. do anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like if he, if he hadn't left these points for you to grab and if we didn't pay you, like if we could have done the math to figure out exactly how much we needed to pay you, like maybe. So what I would say would is been. the dominance cards, especially that one, cause it's two clearings. Um, is probably more dangerous with, in the, with the otters in play than anybody else because I can get so many points by doing this. And if you guys don't control those clearings, I can guarantee to get one even if you don't pay me anything, right? Yeah. So, because mm -hmm. I can spend my own guys. So, in the otters in particular, those dominance cards are probably a little more risky than they are with other factions. Yeah. I didn't think I could catch up with him on victory points, like keep up with him in the victory point race. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just switch tactics and just do this and like hope that I get all of the pieces. It's so hard to unwind it and, and, and see what would happen, yeah. but you were very competitive on victory points. I think you had a... I was close I mean, you didn't know what was going to happen near, there. I was up but, like one or two, but he kept bursting ahead. So the, yeah. after, I mean, his, after his turmoil, though, I think you may have been positioned better to yeah. do it. Not, not that I like know what I'm talking about, but I think like at some point you stopped building things and you started... Oh, I switched You started this. moving and attacking. I 100% switched to which, this. Like, if you like, you need compound interest with sawmills, and you just be, you just need to build. Like we both could have ignored each other and still been close in the game. Like there's no reason I for think us to you, interact. You'd, you'd win if you guys ignored each other. Maybe. But definitely. But if, if he had just, if he had just attacked me enough to like keep me down, but he had focused on building because he had, you know, however many empty spots to build in. Like yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, that's tough to like, say. But that's I, what you're supposed. to I do. saw a surprise anyway. opportunity for like, oh, I can just move tons of guys. All these cats yeah. on here, ten over there, six and two ambush cards. Mm -hmm. If if the second ambush card hadn't have been on a on a if I hadn't played it, that that die roll was it was a wasted ambush card. And then if I would have right. spent it on the next roll, I actually think I might have pulled the pulled out the win. But well also if if he hadn't had an ambush to cancel yours, you could have sent the second ambush against me. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's exactly what I just said. Which I, I did pull I pulled right. so two it was dice, two ambushes right? Dice there. rolls on those. So I thought you meant on his second. But you, attack. you obviously have an advantage here, right? It's just the difference. It's unlikely, like double. There you go. Yeah, I just rolled double zeros. <laughs> That's all I needed you to do, like one turn, but it didn't work out. So, right, uh, yeah. If I kept rolling double zeros, so, um, yeah. Anyways, I think this game is fantastic. It's awesome. Good. Really good. I've had fun every time playing. I it. love playing the first. It is. Uh, this is know. my first time winning. Yeah. Oh, so. good job. I, I loved it before. With the I otters too, because those are those are weird. The uh, expansion. That is a weird one. Races. Um, um, yeah. I do love the birds because I feel like, like one thing I realized with the birds is that like, like I need to be careful about what I do here. Unfortunately, I did not get any bird cards at the beginning of the game. This was this kept me in it. Being I able got to draw one bird cards. Card. I got one bird um, card from my discard thing every single but, turn of the game. Like, one weird thing I've realized with these guys is that you actually... Like, I want to go out and battle and lose pieces because I want to replenish this yeah. so I can keep recruiting. You actually, know, like it's a weird little thing where you, like... So, a couple of things. One is, um, you gave me a huge advantage by continually allowing me to draw cards. Uh, I know you did it because you kept wanting to see bird cards, but a bunch of, I crafted a bunch of cards from up there, and I didn't have to spend my own actions to get the cards. Yeah. Which I think, I think was really good. It was more valuable. It was really... I don't know how what the trade-off is, but it was really valuable for me to draw more cards. And I yeah. wasn't going to give them to him. And you only lost by three points, right? So it's and not I, like right. that was the, no. the decider. But maybe... I mean, that could have been the difference. But, yeah. like, maybe I should have split up because I could choose who drew it. I should have split it up with him more to just, like, throw a card at him. Yeah. You know. But you were also tagging him a lot. You don't want to give him ambush cards and things like that. Right. Like, yeah. that would be it's, awful. Yeah. Uh, especially if he's already going to... And when his field cost pulls up, you don't want to give him a chance to get his guys back for free. Yeah. So, cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, everybody, thanks for watching. If, yeah. If we're going to call that at this point? Yeah. I'm sure that nobody watching has stuck with us for all three of our plays today. But Who if you have, wow. uh, thank you. And you're... Uh, I don't know, have more willpower than I think any of us would have had. <laughs> yeah, um, or just to have very little happening and you forgot to turn your computer off. And off <laughs> um, but there's, there's only two people watching. One of them's me. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and Adam we, fell asleep at his computer. Yeah, it's yeah. probably our, our, our <laughs> co-host, Adam. But if you're watching this after the fact and you're looking at the chat, we posted, again, we posted the Patreon in there in case you are interested. Um, like Johnny was saying, you know, we're, we're tech limited. I, you know, we got this crazy setup with rigs and lights and cameras and microphones and stuff. So 
if you um, want to help out. We're not doing this for profit. We're just yeah. doing it to put out cool board game content. So, yeah. and I will say, uh, uh, as, in addition to being tech limited in terms of we like we had, didn't have a camera on Morris because we didn't have the the ability to do it with the computer we have. Um, the other thing is is right now we're setting up in a not dedicated room for this. Uh, so it is it's kind of a beast and we're looking at putting together a studio so any any support helps that and uh, Hopefully we'll be able to put out content more frequently if we don't have to keep setting it up and breaking it down every time So that's all all right. Thanks, Thanks for everyone. everybody. Good night. Good night